Okay, so I have I have a difficulty that I need. A difficulty? That's a weird thing to say. I've got a problem. Yeah. I've got a, yeah, problem a problem that I need a little bit of help with, okay? A problem um, with a language. And and you guys are the, uh, the perfect guys to help me with this. Oh, so, God, help you. God, like three nights ago, after my other show, I, uh, I made a, a bowl of popcorn. And I do that every once in a while. I have an air popper. I make a bunch of popcorn and throw so much butter on it that I may as well fry it and put it in oil. <laughs> and eat it <clears throat> and it's a good good pop yeah it's a good snack good popcorn very very tasty but i have a popcorn skin that got into my gum on one of my molars um, oh god yeah i hate that and it Green has tea? been and it has been there gum and tooth for at least those three days Ugh. i've been dig annoying digging at it i mean i floss all every day so I, I can't get it out with floss can't get it out by brushing um, I've tried fingernail, I've tried digging, my tongue is constantly back there trying to work at, work at it, and nothing seems to be working. I don't know how to get this popcorn skin from yeah. in the skin, gum line of my back molar on the right side, lower right side. So, so do you remember uh, when you would go to your mom and dad's when they were older, or maybe your grandparents? It was always at my grandparents. They had that nut, that walnut cracking thing, but then it came with that set of pick tools yeah. to pull mm -hmm. the. Oh yeah. You didn't get one of those, and then you jam that back there, and you scrape the porcelain of your tooth to get a rut, so you can get in there and snatch that 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 shell seat, and then pull it out, and that'll work. That sounds like I'm going to be bleeding a lot when I if I were to do oh, that. Yeah. We have a, another uh, suggestion from the street, the chat, uh, the BBB twi Twitch feed. Oh, okay. Chat. Man, get, get down there. From Patty O Furniture, uh, Exacto Knife is the, <laughs> is the recommendation. Yeah, that too sounds like I I'm, think that will there's gonna I be, would do the job. There would be more blood than popcorn kernel skin at the end that, of the day. But as an option, there are worse, worse options. Yeah, there are. So if anybody I'm else in chat has a recommendation, I mean, then I'm thinking, okay, maybe if I go get a, like a big thing of chewing, like a bubble gum, chew the hell out of that, if that might pull it out. Um, yeah. I don't know, but if you should be doing that all night. Get something stickier, something stickier like uh, Starbursts. That's me. Like a whole pack of Starbursts, form it into a ball. How do I stop the goddamn music on Twitch? <laughs> Uh, first of all, you're you're on somebody else's channel because we don't have music playing. No, there's no there's no music no, playing. God. I finally found it. <sighs> okay. Can anybody can anybody tell that that Brit those, came in late? Are those crack cooking kids of yours again? <laughs> God damn them! Um, you know, I, I, bought this, I bought this travel trailer, and <laughs> and I was told to get a smaller one, so I consider 37 feet small. Mm, um, mm. And the area that I have behind the fence line is 25 feet, but I got a 37 uh, foot. So okay. I went and got my child last night, my oldest child, to help me dig and move fence lines and all that stuff. And it's just been a clusterfuck all day. Um, and uh, and then I had to race to get the other two because my dad calls, who's not in town that often, like very rarely. And he wants to have breakfast tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning with all the kids. And I'm like, oh, so I got to go get them so I don't have to do it in the morning. And yeah, so that was my day. Qantas Airlines has uh, decided to tr take a novel approach to air travel. Yeah. And they tried this thing. It's, it's, you've heard of the bridge to nowhere? Yes. Sure. Right? you are all heard of the bridge yeah. to nowhere. The bridge to nowhere that, the, that our government spent millions and millions of dollars on? That's the nowhere? one. Yeah. The, yes, exactly. Oh, wait, you've heard of the bridge to nowhere. Well, Qantas Airlines decided to try a flight to nowhere. So they advertised a flight where people could board an airplane, legitimate jet aircraft, uh, fly around for an hour and then land at the same airport that uh, they took off from. Because of flight, oh. of flight restrictions, no one is able to really travel or go anywhere. So they put God. this they put this flight to nowhere <clears throat> up for sale. It's right. scheduled to depart from Sydney Airport on October 10th. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Return to the same airport, same day, making no stops. Um, but they have promised to, to make low-level scenic views over the Great Barrier Reef and some other spots. They had 134 oh. seats available. The prices were between $575 and $2,765. The flight sold out 
in 10 minutes. Yeah. The flight to so nowhere. Did they, did they book another flight? Um, I don't yeah. know if they have, they but they're actually COVID. considering it for sure. They say other airlines. Because hmm? Because last time I checked, Qantas Airlines has a lot of planes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, they said. They uh, How cool. They said other airlines have offered similar sightseeing flights in Asia. Um, the total decrease in international flight uh, travel um, is 97.5%. That's how much the yeah. travel has suffered um, than this. But I don't know. So the flight to nowhere uh, sold out in 10 minutes. Yeah. Did you guys get your That's seats? Kind of, kind how of cool impressive. Would that be to, do a, to do a low flyover in a 747, like of the Grand Canyon or the, oh the Rocky Mountains or, you know. Yeah. No, that sounds great. I mean, that would be, Absolutely. I would, I mean, I don't know if I'd spend 600 bucks on that, but, you know, I guess if I had that kind of, I mean, but, first you know, of all, I, like that, they do have nice planes. Yeah, they do. But they that, do that's all, planes. that's all great. But who, I mean, in all honesty, no flying one. is a, is a basically a nightmare. When you have to yeah. go somewhere and you have to go by plane, it's really a pain in the ass. Uh, airports. Well, I suppose. But imagine if you want to. Without any luggage. Well, there's that. That's a big difference. Right? And you, that's it. That's you just you just brought your your carry on. That's all that anybody else had. Nothing had to be checked in. Nothing had to you know everything fit in the overhead or whatever. And oh, but they're not going. You know, they don't need anything. They're not going anywhere. Right. That takes they're some going, stress away. You know. And these are people who've been tied or who've been you know housed up for five six months and some of them are used to traveling and would do anything to get back but not make you know stops along the way where things could get dangerous <laughs> i wonder how many of them are going to get in their Let's seat the get place. in their seat get their you know their their what are those things called to cover the eyes and their neck pillow oh, yeah. Yeah. and recline oh, yeah. and not watch any of it they just sleep <laughs> yeah. and get off the plane <laughs> oh, be on the plane. you know some Form of normal C, so I'll just That's take a ten. plane on a, a loop flight. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, oh, meanwhile, meanwhile, a Florida man has been charged with impersonating an officer. Florida man. A Florida man in Orlando. Oh, this is Florida. This is a, a Florida man has been accused accused of impersonating a police officer, and he wound up in handcuffs handcuffs himself after he pulled over. An off-duty police officer. <laughs> the 40-year-old, his name is Omar Ford, allegedly told investigators he was on his way home from his security job when he saw another car swerving, thought it was an impaired driver. He said the car flew past him. His car danced. It went by so fast. And he thought that the driver may have been intoxicated. Ford's company, he told police, is called Criminal Task Force. And uh, he said a citizen would mistake this all day for a law enforcement officer because of the uniform he wears. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Ford reportedly said he uh, he pulled alongside the off-duty officer's blue BMW to say something. When the BMW driver asked if he was being pulled over, Ford told authorities he told the man to slow down. But the officer got behind Ford's, Ford's car, started flashing his own lights. lights. They stopped together and escalated from there. And the guy got arrested. So what do you think? You think, you think this guy was trying to be a good Samaritan or you think he was trying to play cop and uh, got caught? Yeah. It's my experience that he was playing the, the playing cop and, and got caught. Okay. But, you know, but but also, I mean, that it's a lot. It's also the way that some of these 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 bad actors uh, pull innocent women over to yeah. abduct them. You know, a little little red light on their car and act like they're mm -hmm. Mr. Police Officer or, you know. I don't know that that's just a weird a weird world to be in that mental mindset where you have that i've got to be a cop i want to be but you can't do it because you're mentally jacked you know you just can't quite cut it but so now you got to do the security thing and then go pull people over yeah yep yep well there are, there are people who really want want to feel that power they want to feel that i don't know what you call Back it there's a, there's a bit of a rush to it so there's an aquarium in north carolina now, any any business hey, that's a great story in itself. Any business that is tourist dependent, uh, it has been suffering obviously gr a great deal. Oh, sure, right? This pandemic has created yeah, right. a serious amount of stress for for those people. I mean, here in Cooperstown, we see that firsthand, obviously. Yeah. But we're I'm over here at Disneyland in Anaheim, and they finally just last week sent a strongly worded letter to the governor wanting to open up. Yeah. 
Right. So this aquarium in North Carolina is entering its sixth month of the mandated closure because of the coronavirus, and it needs some help paying the bills. So what they've done here, oh, boy. Oh, boy. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Oh, my God. That's what that is. Actual Somebody virtual Saco. It. It's actual real virtual Saco. Holy cow, he's coming in pretty clear. Yeah, well, this, those iPhones are damn good cameras. <laughs> look, at the, look at the camera on that thing. Audio's not yeah. so... It's late. Uh, you don't have your, your headphones, do you? Your your Apple headphones? I, um... I It would take me, uh... Three or four minutes to get yeah. that. Okay. Um, so, so this aquarium in North Carolina, looking for unique ways to pay the bills, decided to, and I wanted to see what you guys think about this, particularly what our chat mm -hmm. rooms think about this. They decided to um, drain the waterfall in which people, you know, throw their pennies in, you know, kind of a wishing well kind of thing. Uh, they've, they've drained about 100 no, they drain they drain the facility and they pulled up all the coins that were in there. There were about a hundred gallons of coins. How the hell do you convert weight into gallons okay. for coins? Well, you don't do weight, but if you pull them up in five five yeah, gallon buckets yeah. and you got twenty of those buckets, that's a hundred oh. gallons of coins. Um, okay. They don't. They didn't uh, say how much the coins were worth at this point. Uh, they said they were going to actually reveal that later this week. Um, but a hundred gallons of coins. Now, granted, a lot of pennies for sure. But do you think that's fair to the people who tossed their quarters, nickels, dimes, and pennies into that into that waterfall, thinking it was going to be there for a wish and maybe eternity? Well, well, I no, mean, you don't mean what. Who who, who who throws their who throw, yeah who throws their coin into a, a pond like that or a little thing well, like that? that, I, that I see, not and then be hard. Expects it not to be cleaned out at some point. Yeah, I mean it has to. I mean you know because that's the whole point of it. Like, it I mean we're gonna get to the point where it would just be like handfuls of coins in that thing, and you could just. Yeah, you know. they have to. I mean, that's what they, that the sense. the mall here next to me where I live. They, I mean, they have like a wishing thing, and once a month they clean it out, and then it's used for some charity for you know feeding. Yeah, support. precisely. And it says and something, something. there's a sign. Well, if there's a sign, if there's a sign that says if there happens to be a a, a pandemic, a viral pandemic in the United States, we are going to clean out this waterfall and use the money to pay the light bill. Um, no. I, I, here's, the, here's the other here's the other side of that coin. That. If, if they don't pay their bills, they get foreclosed on. The bank comes in and demos everything. Someone's getting the money. Yeah. They may yeah. as well try and get an extra month of a light bill out. So you're okay with this, Britt? Britt and Volda both oh. okay with this. Sako has frozen on us. Um, <laughs> it is a good shot of Sako, though. I mean, I will let, let everybody get a nice view of that. Is that his underwear up in the back corner there? I, I was, was going to ask him what's going on behind him. <laughs> Because oh, there's that, some weird shit. Yeah, there's like a trapeze. What the hell? He's got like a little... <laughs> is that a boulder holder? I think it's a long <laughs> holder. Other, other thing. Back. He's got a little trapeze. He's got some kind of fishnet thing going over on his over his right shoulder. Um, That's his fishnet. There's some kind of toy plugged in charging for later. Oh, my God. That is so true. Right? Yeah. There's a, lot, there's a lot going on in that picture that we probably don't want to... Cry too much. <laughs> delve too much further. Go hit hmm. hmm. So anyway, all right. So you guys are okay with the with the with the aquarium doing that? How, are you? Let me see if you're going to be okay with this though. But are you okay mm -hmm. with it? Uh, I have a little, I have a little problem with it. People throw that in there thinking that's going to be there, but maybe maybe they don't. Maybe most people. I, I'm too cheap to throw them in anyway. I won't throw my money away like that. So yeah, I would not. I would drop my eye teeth if I saw you throw a coin. <laughs> I would literally, the world is definitely ending. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, with that in mind, um, I wouldn't throw the money in there. So maybe most people that do throw money in there figure it's a, it's really just a contribution to the cause, and they're okay with it. I mean, what's our chat say? Anybody keeping an eye on what chat thinks about this? Uh, no, well, I was in the new chat, chat, and there was nobody there. There's nobody in the what chat? The new chat. Yeah, well, we got to explain that so people know what's going on. Yeah. Oh my God. Wait, what the hell is this? Is this working, guy? 
What the hell? This, ru- this, Russian, this guy. Russian guy Jesus just had Christ. a little. He snuck up on me. <laughs> Holy God crap. Damn. Wow. <laughs> And he's I not even here. Where is oh. he's gone all ninja? He was really brooding and like like untouchable last week. This Russian guy, he just yeah. he just did not well, seem to have. You, you, you know what happened here? Um, we had the meeting with the producers, and they said they were going to cut back his airtime a little bit. And he's just he's been out of sorts uh-huh. ever since. Um, okay. Well, you don't want to do that to a Russian because really? they'll kneecap you. What? You don't want to do that to a Russian because they'll kneecap you. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yes, yes, they will. Uh, Not this Russian guy. This Russian well, I'm, on, nice. I'm on Johnson Twitch, and there's uh, there's a bunch of people in there, which is what I've been reading. Yeah. Uh, so let, let's let's take a second and explain this before I talk about our next story here. Um, as we said last week, we are going to start migrating this program away from my paranormal uh, pages, which would be my uh, YouTube page. I'm not sure if we'll keep it on my Twitch page or not, but certainly the YouTube page. We have created a YouTube page for Booze, Brews, and Bros, and we've created a Twitch page for Booze, Brews, and Bros, or I should say channels for both. Uh, the YouTube channel for Booze, Brews, and Bros, I went to stream there tonight, and it said, oh, congratulations, now you have to wait 24 hours before you can stream. So so yeah. we couldn't use that one this week. But the Twitch page uh-huh. for Booze, Brews, and Bros is up. It's a, it's live. We do have a couple of people in there. Um, but and we're ultimately, only like high depth, too. It's really impressive. Yeah. So ultimately, that'll be probably our main hub for all of this. And I'm so yeah. glad to see the group shots were are gone. Boom, boom, and boom. Oh. oh. Okay. okay. Speaking of group shots. Okay. Speaking yes. of group shots. There is a museum in somewhere, Sweden, somewhere <laughs> that serves up squirrel beer, ant gin, and I don't mean Paul McCartney's anti gin, I mean as in the insect ant gin, and poop wine. They are served in this in this museum, and the museum is called the Disgusting Food Museum. Yeah. Yeah. They've got drink music. You know, <laughs> they've got it's gin, not, gin that's brewed, brewed with ants. They've got poop wine. They've got whale testicle beer flavored, uh, whale testicle beer flavored with the smoke dung of Icelandic sheep. We've got Crunchy Frog. No, that's something different. Um, <laughs> uh, the beverage collection is actually part of a new exhibit exhibit in the Disgusting Food Museum in Malmo, Sweden. Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. Sweden. I don't know. I don't know sure. I'm buying that. Well, it says Next. it. I, uh, I'm, just, I'm just reading it to you. I'm just presenting this for you. Um, lying to us. The, uh, yeah, it's uh, w- one of the highlights is a Scottish beer that's the strongest beer in the world with a staggering 55% alcohol, ABV. Fifty-five percent, hundred and ten proof beer. You can light that, right? Oh yeah, yeah. That'll that'll, that'll catch on fire. Wow, wow. That's beer. <laughs> oh, so for the record, JV, we are streaming live in Bruise, Bruise and Bros. Okay, good to know. Yeah, good to know. We've got six is followers there? over there and two viewers. One of the viewers is Jade, and one's Brit. Uh, it's crazy. In Twitch, actually, one must be me too. I'm in there. Yeah, in the in the Bruise, Bruise and Bros. Twitch. And Renji, you, you need to you need to ban that Brit guy. Mm. Get rid of him. Yeah, he's gonna wreck. We got to figure out the, that Brit guy's uh, audio issues because you, you have the worst of it going on, and I don't know why. <laughs> uh, probably the operator. I'm wondering if you're if you're over modulating hey. there and it's cutting out there. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Maybe. Should I just uh, fool around with I your know. levels a little bit as you're going along here and just to see if it changes anything? Uh, yes, Susie, we are live. We are so, we're off to a slow start here, as we always are. We've got one, one, of, our, uh, one of our hosts so is frozen here. I don't know where he went. One is having audio <laughs> issues. Um, yeah. So we're trying to work through it here. <laughs> what? Right, Pretty, much normal. Pretty much normal. Pretty much normal. What are you doing now? I'm going to need this really soon, right? I'm yes, we have three shots already that we have to have to handle. Right. Well, hang on. I've got a... Oh, no. This could be a problem. Oh, there. Don't like the sound of that. Oh. Yeah, I'm... Um, 
it's weird because you know i look at my sound bars and when you guys talk it bounces higher and just touches the yellow but when i talk it does not well then maybe you need uh-huh. to, maybe you need to increase your level i don't know you're gonna have to fool that without being there i can't really tell but you have to remember right. your no. levels on the board are only part of the equation what the computer's getting as a signal is going to be something very different and it could be over modulating in any one of those points oh i hate computers so anyway, um, so it, right. for those of the, you that missed last week, uh, Valdo uh, finished his bottle of what was it? Uh, it was Jameson. 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 And he 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 asked to do a poll to see what he should replace that with for drinking moving forward. And the winner was uh, Basil Hayden or Basil. Is it Basil or Basil? Basil Hayden. I say Basil. That's yeah, that's. Yeah. Basil Hayden um, or Hayden. Um and so that's what he got. He got the bottle. And he is now what? You're putting it in your uh, don't be a dick? A and I'm, I'm of course, refilling the do not be a dick decanter. Uh, mm-hmm. Family crest. Mm-hmm. Um, well known amongst my family. So I will do a shot first and then and then we can continue on and I will do it as the. Well, I think uh, we, we should get our we should get our alcohols here and we should all okay. do a shot here. Do, uh, let's let's uh, do this group shot to get this party started here. I think. Oh boy! I think this first one is from is from Lala. I think. Is that, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. He's oh. really slowing down. Now he's speed. Now look. Now he's all sp- fast. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Did we catch up this <laughs> What the hell is happening? Oh my god! Did you see that? Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> he's trying. Now he seems normal. Okay. Well, let's talk about haircuts, shall we? Okay. Um, yeah, so I have a list here of the seven unusual hairstyles in world history. These aren't just, you know, bad haircuts. These are hairstyles that, in retrospect, are very, are considered very unusual. All right. Let's see if you guys think these hairstyles are, in fact, very unusual. Let's see. Here's the first one. The first one's called the Chub Chick Haircut. Uh, okay. <laughs> now, when you're laughing, Brid, is that because you had one of these at one point? <laughs> oh, maybe. Is it like a little skirt on top of your head? <laughs> it's like a little skirt on the top of your head. <laughs> and that would have been. If, I, if I grew my hair, that's the reverse. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the guy on the right. It's like he, he just put a cut on the right side because he still has his sideburns. Yeah, that's very yeah. strange. Yeah. This is yeah. a. This is. This is uh, not to be not that you're going to be surprised about this, but this was a uh, gothic punk trend in rural Russia. <laughs> not a surprise at all. all it looks you, very vodka, vodka induced. All you have to do is chop off everything but the bangs and you've got yourself a chub chick haircut. Low maintenance. That's for sure. Now, here's one that doesn't seem particularly odd to me. Um, it's called the shingle bob. Do you know what? I, do you know what? Does anything come to mind when you hear th- the name shingle bob? Yes. Does it? Uh, uh, shingles. shingles. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts. This is the shingle bob. Now, oh. I don't really think that's too strange. I think that was a style in the twenties, right, or yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm good with that. She's hot. Who is bad. that? The sh- the, the shingle bob was uh, worn by many flappers in the 1920s. It's yeah, yeah. It appeared at a time when women were starting to experiment with looks that didn't necessarily appeal to men, but merely appealed to themselves. So, I don't know. I don't think that's that unappealing. Right. Yeah, who was that? Well, that's I, really Bob. <laughs> well, that makes a difference. Wow. That's actually Bob. That's impressive. <laughs> I don't know Surprisingly who, impressive. I don't know who that is, Brett. But what about the... Uh, I guess is this a Xing? How do you how do you pronounce Q I N G as a Chinese de- dynasty? Is it Xing? Sure. 
Jing. Is it Jing? Yep. Isn't Jing uh, with an X? Oh, uh, maybe. Jing. Okay, well, let's call it the Qing Dynasty. Now, here's a haircut that, Sako, if we move this back a little bit, let's say, like, to, to where the cranium kind of crests there on the back, you could grow that. <laughs> Except it would still have a hole in the middle. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I don't See know. See where your noggin starts to go back down. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> right, right. When it's no more up noggin. That's, um, <laughs> oh yeah, God. I don't know. Whatever. Let's, so uh, the next one is called, well, this one needs no introduction, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh this one God. needs no introduction. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me what's wrong with that. And that is the oh mullet. God, I have one of those. That is I the mullet. You want to grow your hair, and you don't want it in your eyes. <laughs> it's practical. It's stylish. There, there it is. That's the answer. I know. I know. Kind of a, you know, go one way or go the other. But yeah, you know, no. Now I like the long hair. There was a period Not during the Renaissance um, where women thought it was especially attractive to display a large forehead. In order to pull this off, they would pluck the hairs on their head far enough back to make it look like it was a naturally receded hairline. And since we didn't have photography back then, the best we can do is show you what one of the portraits looked like for the large forehead haircut. <laughs> wow. Is that attractive to you, Brett? Mm, not in the least. No. <laughs> You're not into the large no. forehead? <laughs> no. Maybe maybe an eight head, but a 12 head. Yeah, just, 12 head's a little extreme. Yeah, a little extreme. Way too much head. Some people like to uh, put things in their hair, and they think that's stylish. Okay. In well, this case... Cool. In this case, yeah. seashells, bottle caps, okay. and wooden beads. They braid sure. them into their uh, hair to make it uh, their head look a little bit like a charm bracelet. It's kind of stylish. It's kind of cool. Well, yeah, I think I, 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 I think Gertrude needs to try this out. <laughs> Gertrude, I can see, I can see you doing this. Yeah. So, um, but the neat thing about this is, as I was researching these these haircuts and kind of. Um, you know, really trying to figure out what was stylish, what was not stylish. I found um, some pictures of Sako that, um, yeah, that, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll let people just determine for themselves whether or not they think Sako or Sako <clears throat> was stylish here. But back in the 80s, and I don't know if you guys knew this or not, Sako actually had a, a stint as a keyboard player for Flock of Seagulls. And... Um, <laughs> No, oh my God! There he is. I think that um, I think that, that 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 actually looked pretty good on you, Sako. I think not ready. Yeah, but you, but the thing about Sako is he's a man of many talents, as of, as well as a man of many dialects. <laughs> <laughs> and he was also a rugby player, and I had to dig around a lot for this one, and found a picture of of Sako. <laughs> Half a jar of moose. <laughs> He's delayed. <laughs> I had to dig around a lot to find this picture of Saka. He's he, he just finished a rugby match. He's coming off the field, uh, and he is. I mean, he, I think they won that match, so I think. Um, <laughs> I think uh, oh I, I think he's pretty happy. I don't know about that haircut. Though. I don't know what you'd call that. Is that a rugby style, Sako? Is that was that in when you were playing rugby? I, I think the FBI is looking for this person for college. <laughs> There's also there was a period, and I didn't know Sako back then, but he he likes to be with the cool kids. And um, he, although he was a ginger for a little while, he um, he tried he tried the afro thing. <laughs> That's my cousin. I think I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, this is when you know, Good Times was uh, was a, was the hit TV show, and Saka was trying to was That's trying to <laughs> he was trying to be all that. Oh my God! Oh, you know this this I found this to be most interesting though. Um, did you realize Saka actually was was at Woodstock? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, now I, I think did you, 
What's up? Did you put the shades on? No, no, of course not. Now, I, let me, I think I have a close-up. Yeah, here he is. Um, that's Sako at Woodstock. That is him. <laughs> that's oh amazing. My God. Uh, yeah. Didn't everybody? The funny thing you know, is, I, I only he see... He has a name. In this sea, in this sea of thousands of people, there is no one else wearing sunglasses. Actually, there is one way in the back, but Sako oh, yeah. is a trendsetter there. And I think, um, I think the crown jewel of all of this that I found, and I, I think we all owe uh, Sako a big, big congratulations because Sako finally got his uh, <laughs> finished eighth grade and oh my God. got his uh, picture in the yearbook. And uh, awesome. I think we all actually, I think we have a close up of this one too. We all owe him a, a, a pat on the back and a, an attaboy for finally finishing eighth grade. Um, yeah. Oh my God. I love the way you no. did. I love the way uh, the hair makes his face look very long. <laughs> look how happy he is graduating eighth grade like this. Did you have braces? I mean, it's good for him. Going on there. <laughs> so, yeah. So, congratulations, Sako. And I was really, really happy to come up with that stuff. Um, it's hard to find that stuff on the internet, Sako. I mean, I had to dig. I had to dig. <laughs> Those reputation uh, cleaners that you hired uh, for your online presence have done a great job. Hey, Around. It's a big event. <laughs> the translation yeah, was it. something like the fourth time around, it's a big event. <laughs> That's what it came out. Mm. Oh, my God. oh, boy. Anyway. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my He's God. Doing well. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him staring up at the camera. Who's staring oh, up at the God. camera? Sako, look at him. He's so happy. <laughs> Where is he? Do you know? I, I would know. ask him, but I would. I wouldn't <laughs> you wouldn't know it, until so Tuesday. I, you wouldn't hear the answer until Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> so I to go camping in the woods somewhere again, <laughs> burying another body. <clears throat> oh, I also I want to uh, make sure that I I give proper airtime to my new mug. Oh, look at that! Uh, that uh, I was so so happy to receive this week. Um, two places in my hometown that I, that I love dearly. And uh, I just happened to know the owners. Very cool. <laughs> so they sent me some. And you, I gladly paid them because I want to help as much as I can. And I'm on the other side of the country. Right. So here's to the here's to O Town. Nice. What, Britt? Did 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 he just name drop? Uh, I kind of. I did. Yeah, yeah, kind of. I did. <laughs> kind of did that. They knew I was going to do it too, so I did it with their. So Sako, if you haven't figured it out um, yet, we you're when you talk, it sounds like you're a slow motion robot, which oh, is kind of humorous. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Fifteen minutes of Sako <laughs> reading the dictionary. Come on, let's go. It's just difficult for us to understand what you're saying. Hey, everybody! I, sorry, we haven't been able to pay a whole lot of attention to chat here. It's just. Um, Oh, trying to get things going here, but uh, welcome. Good to see everybody with us tonight as we start this program, get things rolling here. I've already used my best material. I just couldn't wait. And uh, yeah, so. <laughs> That's it. Wow. That's it. You just blew it all up. I just, we go now? We I just, I used it all in that flash of a moment there. That was three days worth of work. Boom. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right. Google's new. Are you ready? It doesn't allow feel. Um, this, this is something I... I had saved from a long time back and I never used. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Here we go. Imagine this scenario. Steve Irwin has you pinned down to the ground in a headlock, right? What amazing facts about, the, about you does he tell the audience while he wrestles you to the ground? Say it again. What, 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 what? Steve Irwin has you in a headlock. Steve Irwin? Yes. yes, yes, yes. The alligator mm -hmm. yeah. hunter? Yeah. Or the cro crocodile? Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Yeah. Um, and he's wrestling you to the ground. What cool facts does he tell the audience about you and your habitat as he as he wrestles you down? Oh. You know, how he used to how he used to say, Oh, this look at this beauty, he's got this, he's got that, he's the biggest he's thing wrestling. in the pond. He's the God, Steve Irwin, I miss. I actually miss watching his show. He was great. He did. I mean, he made being a a nerd and into animals cool. 
Oh yeah. And such a crazy way to check out. I know. I mean, he freaking <laughs> gets yeah. gets stung in the heart by a giant stingray. Oh. How does that even happen? You know. So I just uh, before we get into Valdo's question here, um, the uh, the one and only E Rock, who has been a uh, a host on this program at times, has found his way into the Booze Brews and Bros chat room on Twitch. And uh, which I find very interesting because he'd asked me earlier today how to find the show. And I told him to find it on you, my YouTube channel and sent him a link for that. Yeah. Somehow he ended up on the Booze, Brews and Bros Twitch. So I'm, I'm very curious as to how that happened. But hey, uh, E-Rock, welcome to the program. We, good to have you. On. We, he had he had asked about being on the show with us tonight. And I said, sure. Uh, but then when he heard it was at 1030, he said he can't stay up that late. So I don't know. Oh, past his bedtime it's past his bedtime yeah yeah so so yeah he's there. <laughs> he, he's he's there uh hello iraq um how did you find that channel of all things that's funny <laughs> well, it's very funny all right so if if erwin was wrestling me down and telling people about my yes. habitat they they would yes. say he would say uh, he was a person his his uh, his natural habitat is surrounded by computer monitors. You can tell by the radiation color in his skin, and that if you held a Geiger counter up next to him, you'd detect slight traces of activity. Um, so, therefore, you you can't keep him in this headlock for too long because you too will absorb some of that radio radioactivity. So that's probably what he'd say about me. Mm, he's he's dangerous. Erock said he actually he Googled Twitch. Uh, it was difficult to find. Yeah, it's a brand new channel. That's why uh, we just this is the first night we're streaming to that particular channel, Erock. So that's why it hasn't really made its on its its digital footprint yet. Britt, what? Uh, oh, but I'm sure it's a Britt, what would you? Uh, what would Steve Irwin say about you and your you you and your habitat as he was wrestling you to the ground? Oh, crikey! <laughs> Well, this is a crazy one right here. Needs to be put out of its misery. I don't know why he's speaking like an uh, uh, <laughs> like an Alfie, but yeah. you know, uh, he would be uh, he would be like, wow, this one's uh, this one needs to be put down. It's uh, it's the one it's the uh, the run to the litter. Um, <laughs> his his den is always a mess. And um, <laughs> wow, you got, to, you got a pretty hello high opinion of yourself there, Brent. <laughs> The runt of the litter. Uh, Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin talking. <laughs> yeah, Steve Irwin talking. Uh, yeah, he was. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Steve. And I get that feeling. That was a trip. That guy was a trip. Yeah. Wrestling, yeah I remember when that, when that show first came on, he was wrestling those crocodiles in people's backyards and pools and shit. I, was, I used to All watch right. that and go, "How am I not getting eaten yet?" Well, wow. uh, so I think we have somebody on the phone. Who's on the phone? Hi, JB. Is this Andrea? Yeah. Where have you been? We haven't heard from you in weeks. <laughs> I've been in Manitoba. I've been in Kelowna. I've been back here taking care of a lot of a lot of stuff. Like seriously, it's just been insanity like Sounds especially like when i when i was when i was gone when i was in manitoba like jv like this is just proof that people have literally lost it oh yeah like oh, they've yeah. just completely gone because um while i was gone there's a walk-in clinic that i used to go to um i haven't been there in a long time but um, I used to go to it, and there was a doctor there who I saw, um, well, apparently one day, um, my friend was telling me about this. Uh, this guy walks in. He's got on super baggy clothes. He's got, like, a hot baseball cap, really baggy hoodie, really baggy pants, needs to see a doctor, so he claims. So he goes in, the next thing you know, you hear the doctor screaming, call 911. And everybody's like, what the fuck, right? Right, yeah. And um, so, like, 
they're, so they call 911, and these two guys apparently go and hold the door shut so the guy can't get out. And so he can't, well, so he can't escape the, the clinic, and the cops got there, and uh, they found the guy with a machete and a hammer, and he had attacked the doctor, apparently because um, he wanted opioids, and the doctor said, no, you're not oh, getting any more. Absolutely not. Like, no way. And uh, so the guy attacked him, and the doctor ended up dying. Well, you know, I mean, the 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 uh, obviously it's sad that the doctor's lost his life, but it's a good thing he didn't start hacking up the the people in the waiting room. I mean, he could have gone nuts in the waiting room. Yeah, yeah, he could have started attacking other people too. So I guess it's good that the guy like that uh, he didn't come flying out of there. And uh, they they said the cops were there pretty pretty quickly, like within a couple of minutes. I mean, you, can, you, can, you, can, you can chop up cop cars. you can chop up a lot of people with a machete in a couple minutes. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I just you know, like I say, like I kind of wish somebody had, you know, I don't know, gotten a chair, gotten you know, whatever. Like if there was like a whole bunch of people, just like you know, like gone in and just like rushed the guy and mm. just freaking knocked him or kicked him as hard as could hope he falls and then you know people have fucking lost it yeah i think that i think gone i think i think that's true i think people have lost it i think that's absolutely true wow huh wow i don't know what'd you say did did she date him no he was married i don't date married men Oh, oh you, you didn't I, you didn't give us that detail. I remember when this picture was that. taken. Uh, Billy Ray Cyrus had just had the hit "Achy Breaky Heart," and um, and Sacco was trying to make make himself a career in country music. He had he had songs like the "Weaky Sneaky Knee" and the uh, "Wobbly Tobbly Foot." It was it, all these things. He had these ideas, and um, <laughs> and as you can see here, he was pretty optimistic at the time. Uh, sadly, it just didn't it just didn't take off that career. Didn't turn out, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, no kidding. That's why I figured I'd call in tonight because uh, you guys always make me laugh, um, especially that picture of Sako when he blows up like a blowfish. Like, oh, the blowfish, I don't know yes. what it is. I crack up every single time I see it. It's just so funny. It's just like his eyes. It's just like, oh, oh no, my it's, God. It's hilarious. I just <laughs> die every time I see that picture. It's so funny. It is absolutely hilarious, and because you said that, we are going to have to uh, we're going to have to oh, yeah. do that right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh it never stops being funny, does it? Uh, no, no. Oh man, um, really funny. Okay. All right, Andrea, I'm going to let you go, but thanks for calling in. Okay. It's been too long since we've heard from you, so it's good to hear you. I know. Yeah. Well, like I said, you guys always make me laugh, especially that oh. that sucker blows up like a blowfish. Yeah, it's classic. <laughs> pretty tempting oh. to dance is pretty cute. It's just like, he tries so hard, but he's just like... <laughs> he, 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 he just has no oh game. God. He's got Too no funny. game. Yeah. You know what? Sako's going to blow up like a blowfish for you live now because... Oh, live. Yeah, live let's, let's see the live blow up like a blowfish. <laughs> what was that? He he had cocked his whole head on that one. Holy crap! That was you. Uh, you, you could have busted a vertebrae on that move. <laughs> yeah, don't hurt yourself, okay? Stop yeah. like, <laughs> and the video speed is funny because it went. You know, freaking aneurysm or something. Yeah, he is. All right, Andrew, gotta let you go. Thanks for calling. Love to hear from you. I don't know. It's you know earlier. I think I used a, a description along the way, which Britt picked up on. Picked up on trying to keep this stuff organized, like herding cats, and cats. Um, 
Uh, uh, where is Brit? And it looks like Brit's frozen. There's a piece of paper floating in the air on Brit's screen here. I think, I think he's been abducted by zombies. Is the way it looks. So I don't know what's going on there. It's hard. It's, yeah, it's abducted difficult. Abducted by zombies. That's really what that means to me. Yeah. Oh, when a, a tornado coming through. The it? zombies got through. By the way, I, I for some reason as I was do, doing these, showing these pictures of Sako that I found over the years, there were a couple I missed. So let me just re-highlight this. This and I, and I talked about this. This was uh, Sako's attempt at at a, at a country music career. Um, Lots of gel. Well, lots of gel. It's really that's some serious hair that you could you could use that like to to coat battleships to protect them from armor piercing rounds. Um, the the song you just take it off. <laughs> <and die. laughs> yes, you can. Uh, the other thing, the other one. This is a little sadder to me. Um, you know, everybody reaches a point where they have to they have to accept reality, and this was this was Sako's point when he realized that the comb over oh, yeah. wasn't working yeah. anymore, yeah. and. Um, Sako, I think the choice to use the razor blade was 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 absolutely the right choice. Ultimately, that was my father. Yeah. <laughs> the comb over. Yeah. <laughs> except time except to go he let it grow long in the back too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, there's oh, a wow. you know at some point, but I think I think I think Sako, I think you made the right choice. I think the razor blade is the way to go. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm Jeez. just going for that attractive, uh, you know, 1720 <laughs> lady look. The forehead yeah. look. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which one was it? Was that this one? Head. No, that's not that one. Is it this <laughs> one? Head. This one. Oh, the twelve yeah. head. That's it. Yeah, that one. <laughs> yes. And of course, it's much more <laughs> yeah. effective on a profile when you have a big nose and no chin. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> You're <laughs> draw too. Wow, which was probably considered attractive at the time. The the, the big forehead and, or the uh, big nose and no chin. <laughs> big nose and no chin. All of it, all of it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a package. Yeah. Um, I agree with that. Uh, all right, I don't know what he's doing. Um. Anyway. Okay, you lost all audio. Yeah. Yep. Shut it down and restart. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, Sako is Sako's hidden away in a in a an escape vehicle. He's in an escape pod. I am. I am. Oh, I'm, I'm ready for doomsday. I got everything I need right here. Well when you were when your picture was frozen, we were kind of analyzing all the things in the background there. I could hear everything. Oh, you could. In yes. Okay. In real time. <laughs> okay. I got I got a lot of fishnet going on. Here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Most fun. <laughs> God. Um, I got everything charging. I got all kinds of wires to charge everything. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They're well equipped. Uh, well equipped. What is everybody uh, drinking? I haven't, we haven't even done this yet. I'm still trying to finish off this Bud Light that I, I had in the fridge. Oh, uh, we're being given we're being the given the finger here. <laughs> what, what? What? Who's giving me that? Oh, wait. Wait, I <sighs> actually got a response to that. Do you? For the first time. Hold on, Here's hold on. Response. What's your response? Oh, nice. We got a w <laughs> war of the fingers here. Nice. <laughs> That's I like mine better. <laughs> oh boy alright so we are let's just go the old fashioned way <laughs> <laughs> um, Sako so uh, I, I have to ask you uh, a series of yes or maybe not yes or no questions but A or B questions so that each question will have two answers okay the first yeah. alright all right, so the first question is meat or vegetables oh good question meat Really? I don't know, really know what the question is. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> Anything after that? Oh, um, okay. All right, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Was it a trick question? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Cotton or wool? Hmm. Cotton or wool? Cotton. Mm -hmm. Good That's a good choice. Yeah. Okay, so you got one. You're one for one here, or one for two. <laughs> what do you mean? 
This is the hardest test I've ever taken. (laughs) (laughs) There's a wrong answer? All right. Ready? Next one. Beer or ale? Ale. Yeah, that's that's the right answer. Um, (laughs) Okay. For whatever reason. Speed. Ready? Next one. Speed or safety? I know the answer. Yeah, I knew the answer to this one. He's the rocket man. <laughs> rocket man. Yeah. Every time uh, Sako and I go ride our motorcycles, uh, there's a point where I start saying in our intercom system, rocket man, burning out his fuse up here alone, as he takes off and forgets what speed he's doing on the road. Yeah. I am not yeah, a risk taker. Yeah. Oh, I am not a risk taker on the motorcycle. Okay. Last one. Let's see if you, let's see if you can get this one. <laughs> You ready? Yep. All right. Pants or kilt? <laughs> Ooh, kilt. Really? Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. I, now, choice, yeah. now what? Now what I need to know from our chat room is: Did he pass or fail? <laughs> <laughs> According to what <laughs> and why? <laughs> so chat needs to tell us: Did he pass or fail? I'm not scoring this yeah. test. It's the <laughs> five questions with no direction. To... <laughs> this this test just sums up my entire week. <laughs> <laughs> Does it now? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. Oh, Sako, the results are not good. Oh, no. Let's see. Londo says you pass. D says you pass. Wrenchy okay. says you fail. Randall says you Ooh. fail. Oh, so we need a tiebreaker here. It's two to two. Wrenchy would fail me no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> well, some professors are like that. <laughs> oh, Steph says fail. Steph's. Oh. And Lala. Lala said fail to. Oh, I didn't see that one. Oh, yeah. It's, wow. Wow. Four to two. Yeah, rough crowd. Rough yeah. crowd. Yeah. Yep. There. Lala said fail. Do I get wow. to retake it? Uh, I Do don't I know. Get to study and retake it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, boy. All right. Volta, what do you got? Um, so here's my question. Ready? Would you rather. Eat a stick of butter or snort a tablespoon of salt. Oh. Who are you asking, by the way? A stick of butter. I'm just putting it out there. Or snort a spoonful of salt. What if I'm gonna sneeze just thinking about snorting a spoon of salt? Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's dangerous. (laughs) Yeah, I'm definitely eating the stick. I'm definitely eating the stick of butter. Yeah. I do that anyway. Butter. I do that anyway. I just... <laughs> Didn't Italian you hear my popcorn thing. story in the beginning? You don't think I put a full stick of butter on that popcorn? Are you kidding uh, me yeah, right now? True. <laughs> yeah, Robert wants to know. Either. Robert wants to know if you wear your kilt on the motorcycle, Sako, or if you would. I would. I would. Sure. All right. Do you have another question Although for the us? Pipes get hot. You know. That, that is me pinging. Uh, sorry for that, Wrenchy. I agree. That's loud, and it needs to go away. Yeah, but that's – Valdo is pinging Britt's group text here. Britt says he – by the way, just if, in case anybody's wondering, Britt says he's rebooting. I know. Britt's, Britt's, Britt's up to something shady back there. He's, this is not what he – I think he's uh, – anyway. Um, Robert thinks if you were wearing his kilt, your kilt on the bike, you'd be like Benny Hill. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what was the that, Benny Hill? What was the, what was the song? What was the Benny Hill song? Yakety sax. Yeah, but what, how does it go? That's right. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay, so was there a point to the stick of butter versus snorting a teaspoon of salt? I just wanted to know. Okay. I just wanted to know relative to that. Mm-hmm. Okay, here would you would you rather do this then? Would you rather walk barefoot in a public bathroom Ooh. 
or walk barefoot through poison ivy? Oof. Yeah, you know, I've had poison ivy before. I'll go. I'll do the bathroom. I can wash my feet right after. Right. Test one, yep. two. Test right. one, two. Right. Bathroom. I think. I think. I think that might be a, skin might on be your feet. Pretty point. thick. Maybe an age d point where where people don't get the um, uh, the the, the cleanly, the relative cleanliness of the bathroom versus the versus the poison ivy. I think you might get to a certain age where you're like, oh, the germs there. I just can't think about mm -hmm. where poison ivy yeah. is just something that you get over and that's fine. I don't, I don't think anybody young would pick poison ivy. Now it depends. If I had if I had some like open cuts on my foot. Right, that's a problem. Be a different thing. That's true. Be a different thing. But, um, Britt, I, I don't know what you're doing there. I heard. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second, Britt. I don't know what you're doing there, but I heard you. We all heard you. I don't know what you ignored me. Well, we're we're in the middle of talking talking's about something. I'm sorry. You said test one two. I didn't know that required an answer. <laughs> oh wait, echo, have echo. My, uh, Jesus, an expert. It's crap. the same test we've been getting for the last. <laughs> <I know. laughs> um, yeah. So if if I had like open cuts on my foot, I might think twice about the the public bathroom walk. Uh, but I don't right. know. I've had poison ivy before, and it's a bitch. Here's the thing. I've never had poison ivy. Living where I lived and growing up where I grew up, you would think I'd had it a million times, mm -hmm. and I I avoided it somehow. Um, so I don't have any idea of what that's like, but I've seen people who with it and I, I don't want any part of it. Yeah. And it <laughs> so spreads. If you itch it, it, it spreads to other yeah, parts. No. And, yeah. Um, and I'm not, not itching it. Yeah. It's like, it's like having the chicken pox on part of your body. It's, uh, uh it's, it's, it's very much like that. Oh, I'm God. at a state campground. You want to talk about bathroom floors? <laughs> <laughs> See the thing about now. Let me just tell you. Uh, Sako has told me about this. Sako goes into these these bathrooms. It's, it's state park public bathrooms. Takes a shower, sits on the floor so he can dry his feet off, naked. No. Yeah, he does. Is that true? Well, <laughs> shower, maybe. So you like? Well, when down. there's no bench, <laughs> you have to sit down and dry your feet <laughs> off. <laughs> Who dries their feet I'm, off? Actually, there's usually a bench outside. I'd go outside naked first. <laughs> oh. Which, oh. by the way, the state park police have said that's got to stop. Oh, I thought that was understandable. Oh, Britt, okay. you sound better, so but did, you're not. You, so you need more volume. Four-year-old Nick. More volume. So did the mom of the four-year-old. <laughs> oh so man. You, so you don't have it. You don't have a shower in your motorhome. No, yeah, yeah. I made all this up, Britt. I was making so, it up. You know, I'm here. Oh, I, I was really? believing. <laughs> I could totally oh. see Taco sitting on the floor with his ass cheeks on the tile, and his, you know, <laughs> yes, that's why I made it up because everybody could totally see that. I mean, yeah, you got to remember, he used to play rugby. Oh Jesus! Oh, I forgot uh, that. that. You don't want I to talk about, about that, that in those days. <laughs> That's I mean, gonna haunt. He was he wasn't called he wasn't called a badass for nothing. I mean, there's a reason. Wow. Oh, I thought he was. It's, oh, I thought he had as a badass because it was so used. But okay, okay, <laughs> whatever, <I'll go. laughs> if, I, if I had that haircut playing rugby, <laughs> yeah. it'd be tough to live through a game. This this You'd is be the, the bottom of the pile all the time. This it's is plow me. Yeah. This is a shot of you after you after you felt up the scrum and you were coming off the field. You're very proud of yourself in this shot. Is that even a term? Scrum yeah. is. I know that. Felt up the scrum. How many, how many rugby players just, you see wearing glasses? <laughs> what do you do to the scrum, Saka? What do you do to the? Do you feel the scrum? Do you play with the scrum? Do you eat you the put scrum? Your head right in between those hips, baby. You put your head in the scrum. Yeah. Do you? Head down. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, no. Oh man, what is the point <laughs> of the scrum? <laughs> You're pushing your team forward. So it's everybody's like trying and to the push ball's in. Under you. Okay, so the ball's under. Yeah, the everybody's pushing in the same direction. Ball's uh, underneath. Two teams together. Boom. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And the ball gets thrown in the middle, uh -huh. and you're pushing uh -huh. over. Well, what's the point of doing that and if the ball's on the, the ball. ground? 
Well, you're moving the ball forward with your feet. Oh, you're kicking the ball. He's trying, he's trying to kick. Well, the ball. you're not kicking it. You're you're kind of dragging it. You're just kind of shuffling it along. And then, so and then, there's a, there, then there's a point where you let it out so it goes to your backs, which are like your running backs mm -hmm. running with the ball. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. well, but, is there, uh, is there an but that's all planned. And you, and you turn it and everything. It's, it's a little more the ball. complex. Than, you know. it's, so, so why do you call it a scrum? That's disgusting. That's a great question. It's a British term. <laughs> yeah. If you if you uh, say with the British accent, if you say better, <laughs> what? If you say with a British accent, it doesn't sound so bad. Oh, uh, Saka, you're a man of many dialects. How do you say that with a British accent? The pack. <laughs> how do you say you scrum? A pack how do you how do you say scrum in, with a British <laughs> scrum. dialect? Scrum, 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 <laughs> scrum. It doesn't, it doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> so okay, so once you once you you're in the scrum. Well, well then there, then there's then there's then when the ball's in motion, there's right. sort of a made up scrum, but it's called a ruck. A ruck. <laughs> so you ruck, Is it a you ruck over the ball. Yep, you ruck over the ball after you've scrummed it. <laughs> Well, it gets scrummed like, off into someone's hands first, right? <laughs> right. Right. Now, let me ask you this. Do you wear condoms when you play this game? No, no, no. It's not about that. No? no? It's definitely a jock strap, though. <laughs> <laughs> is is rugby a uh, a highbrow uh, sport? Like, uh, you know, like uh, cro the, the, the horse croquet Polo. Game? Yeah. That'd be polo. Or, yeah. be polo. Polo, thank you. No. Uh, horse, no, horse, horse croquet. <laughs> horse croquet. <laughs> or is it, so, so it's a it's a uh, lower class sport. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All you need uh, is a ball and grass. All right. You need a ball and grass. And, uh, both. And both and, ball you, and you can play with less people than what you see on TV. There's different versions of 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 like what one game of rugby. There's one game called Sevens. Yep. There's one game called Sevens because where you they, only need seven people. Because they on have the eight side. people on the field. <laughs> <laughs> in, in any English sport, that is totally possible. <laughs> They're called. We call them Sevens. There's eleven people on the side. <laughs> So let me ask you this, Sako. After you've been spent some time in the scrums, has it has it made you buy curious at all? <laughs> no, it actually it's actually the opposite effect because I played a few positions, but one of them in eight. I'm man. sure you've been in every right. position. <laughs> do you, do you find yourself wanting to sniff used jock straps when you walk by them? <laughs> oh, he was getting to a good joke. No, he you, said eight man. You, you lose. You played an eight man team. Said, I was an eight man. I was just, so I was the guy at the ass end of the scrum. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is there really any the other scrum. end of a scrum than the ass end? <laughs> so, so, I mean, so I've is, seen scrums like on TV, ass. and all I see are asses. Uh, there, is there any ass. other well, end? To the, well, there's one guy. You'll see one guy playing, and he, and he's wearing the ear protectors. You know, like almost like oh, what wrestlers yeah. wear. Uh -huh, That's yeah. the eight mm -hmm. man, because head is in between two hips, like oh. this, <laughs> <laughs> and it's getting to keep crushed. you from getting cauliflower ear. Wow. Wow, this sport huh. needs needs a serious uh, look look uh, look at. This needs <laughs> <laughs> a serious ass looking. Look, yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> so is this sport? At least like, the well, uniforms are better. Ball. I played I played back in the eighties when the shorts were only like this long. You know? Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, if if we could see your shorts in this, <laughs> oh, yeah. like the, I mean, your shorts are like shorter the than the your hair, front. and that's uh, yeah. <laughs> in oh, the front. So you guys played in. So you guys played in Magnum PI Dolphins. <laughs> exactly. Remember those dolphin shorts that Magnum PI used to wear? Oh yeah, super yeah, in the eighties, right? Same. Oh yeah, yeah. Was. Magnum PI, right, those on. OP. Sh you remember OP shorts? O o shorts. Yeah, oh did. my god, my, so, my dad so, worked for ahead. OP uh, OP distributor, so for two grades, all I had was OP everything. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's not bad. They were popular. popular. Yeah. 
But so so is is rugby in the ranking of sport popularity? Like here we have baseball, hockey. You know what what is it? Where does yeah, it? It's pretty rank popular. With it? Like it's like soccer. I don't, I don't know where it ranks, but it's pretty no, it's not, popular. not soccer popular. popular. No, no. But what's more popular than soccer in Europe? What is nothing really? Huh? Yeah, what's rioting? Sport? There is one sport oh. more popular than soccer. Field. Racing. Did you say motorcycle what? racing? Motorcycle racing. Only you would know motorcycle that. Motorcycle racing. Only you oh, would know that, Sako. Oh, Only I you. I was curling. Okay. I like curling. Curling's fun. So, Have you ever curled? Just to, so, um, yeah, something anyone can do. In case just anybody was, was curious, um, if you look at this closely, Sako. Oh, there you go. Yeah, see, this this is a scrum. So, Sako, I need, I need to know two things. First of all, um, which one are you? And secondly, um, what's the guy that's that's kind of standing off to the side with the red shorts? Why is he not in the scrum? Is he straight? Running back. Oh, his team doesn't have the ball. <laughs> Sacco? Oh, th what a convenient time to freeze up. Nice. The, the black team has the ball. That's How do you know? Yeah, I think the guy well, bending so the, over. The one guy bent over. The one black black shirted guy who's bent over. Yeah. Right. And he's like, okay, in front I'm of the ball, or, or I'm tossing the ball in. Either way. So the guy in the red shorts is waiting for either the possession to go under the feet of his guys, in which case he now takes that position. And they're waiting for the ball to be fed out. Yeah. So it gets, or it gets or feeding it in. It gets kicked backwards, you know, kind of like possessed backwards with the feet. And then somebody runs around behind and finally picks it up. Once All right. So up. if we, if we guy. number these asses from left to right, yeah. one, two, yeah. three, four, five, and then you've got the guy with yeah. the black shirt and then the guy standing up in the red. So, so one, two, three, four, yeah. five. I want, I want people to tell me <laughs> what they think, uh, which it, ass is Sacco's, which of those five oh, asses yeah. is Sacco's in the red shorts from one left from to right. Team. Those guys One, are called two, three, scaps. All right, we caught we caught the tail end oh, of that, Saka. Yeah, we caught the tail end of that on you. They have some more. All right, we need to do another. We need to do another uh, group shot. We've got two more that we have to do from Wrenchy. Your video is frozen. Yes. It's just pitiful. Oh God. All right, group All right. shot. Let's do this. Come on. I, I, almost. I think he was number four. You're almost right. I'm ready for this. Ah. Hey, oh, well, let's do this first then. Uh -huh. All right, so, um, oh, God, that gets worse every time. Bourbon's harder. Oh. Irish whiskey is easier to drink. All right, so, um, in case uh, people haven't paid attention to what is going on on the uh, the uh, YouTube channel that we created for Booze, Brews, and Bros, I wanted to share yeah. this while we wait for uh, Sako to get unfrozen again. But um, we're trying to do some, some promotion for the show. You gotta dig a hole at least six feet, minimum six feet, because the, the, the cadaver dogs cannot smell more than about four, four and a half feet. So you drop it six feet down, bury it about at the three foot mark of filling it in. You throw a big dead animal in there, a couple raccoons, some cat, the big dog, and then bury the rest. And that's how you dispose of a body. Two things, two things. We sped that up for copyright reasons, okay? Let's just leave it at that. Okay? And, and secondly, and secondly, before we sped it up, it was a six-minute conversation about <laughs> bodies and protecting them from, from dogs. It lasted, you don't know how long that was before we sped it up. It was like a 10-minute diatribe on wow, where and how to bury the 10 minutes. Yeah, it was. And I'll tell you what, this one has gone viral. I think there's at least eight views of this one. You boys, get your ass to bed. 
Get your ass to bed. It's it's late. It is late. Get your ass to bed. Now he sounds like Chris Rock. <laughs> I do love, I do love how the old lady has upgraded to an aluminum <laughs> stick. <laughs> it's, it's good in all weather. <clears throat> it's good in all weather. It's yeah. lightweight. It is. It can go anywhere, can't it? Yep, yeah, it can. It can. Um, <laughs> uh, so more and more people are, this one is actually, I think it's found its way into Dancing with the Stars. Oh, yeah. I love the little like horse riding thing he does at the end. He's like, he got his hands out. He's like doing Giddy a little. Up. Horse ride. Giddy up. <laughs> That's the best part of that one. That is the I'm best. Park my horse on your scrum. <laughs> what are you gonna do to his scrum? I'm gonna park my horse on your scrum. <laughs> oh man, these are good though. They, I, I, I still crack up. I still crack up. <laughs> But one of the ones that Spiny thinks is like anything comes by, you just go. Hmm. The thing I love about that one is is uh, Sako laughing at himself. Watch this. You got to watch him just laugh at himself. <laughs> Look at him. He's laughing at himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what makes that you one so good. You can see yourself in the mirror. What? You can see yourself. You can see yourself in Oh, oh boy. Oh, no. <laughs> Sako, then, Sako just entered the Twilight Zone. <laughs> But the the grand so, uh, the granddaddy of all of them is this one for sure. This one it takes the cake, and the silence that leads into this makes it the best. <laughs> oh my god! He's still going. Oh, man. I don't know what's me laughing then or me laughing now. I think <laughs> I know. It's like I'm double tracking myself. <laughs> yeah, well, so, so while you guys are having fun with these videos, chat is going off about Scrum, Scrum NATO. Uh, Jada said, don't get the Scrum in my hair. There's a circle, a circle of Scrum. Scrum Mando. He's in the Scrum. Scrum's got him now. <laughs> 50 Shades of Scrum. I mean, they're, they're yeah, out of they're all. Chat over yeah, they're all over it for sure holy yeah. cow it is. Oh. hey scooter welcome i didn't see you come into the program nice 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 from nice the, from umbrella okay so what did we decide about this uh this this picture which of the asses is sakos here one through five number four you're so I, I, I have a feeling on this is everybody going to number four no number three it's, it's number three saka your ass is not that small that's what I'm saying. That's the point. <laughs> None of them are actually Zocco. <laughs> remember, re, remember what I told you? Uh, my ears had, had hips on both sides. That's that guy. Oh, I see what you're saying. Your ears had hips on both yeah. sides. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, Valdo, you were almost right. I, I was I was trying to jump in. You were almost right on the uh, scrum halves there, throwing the ball in. Oh, that was close. Yeah, Hey. These two guys on the outside are scrum halves? Yes. Yeah, I was yelling that, but you guys couldn't hear me. You know, the thing is, it's like you, you need a whole new vocabulary to understand this game. You like have oh, to yeah. you have to get yeah. the, the uh, English to rugby translation dictionary so that you can actually understand how this game works. Any game that requires a translator is a little bit uh, cumbersome. Suspect or too much. Huh? It's a little cumbersome. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Yeah, so and you can't you can't pass the ball forward, which really throws Americans off. So you have to run it forward. You can't pass it forward. You can, you can, have to can run it forward or kick it forward. Run or kick. But you but you can yeah, pitch you pitch it, it sideways. Forward. 
You can pitch it sideways, sideways but with no forward movement. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. That's a dumb rule. Yeah. Um, Brett, I need you to t- give us a, give us a, uh, open up your heart a little bit here because you clearly are bothered by something right now. What's going on with you? Open up your heart. Oh, oh that's what I'm bothered by. I'm never bothered by anything. I only, oh, is everybody leaving? Is that what's going on? <laughs> um, what am I bothered by? I'm bothered by my audio that, that I can't get it to work right. Um, I'm bothered by all the smoke that's in the air because of the trees that are burning. Although they do need to burn. We haven't had a good fire in a while. What else am I bothered by? Um, um, I'm bothered that uh, I still have to work for a living. Oh, and one of my children's is going to walk in. Your children's? So yeah. One that of my happens. children. You'll see him in the background probably. No, you really can't those. because the, uh, the virtual background eliminates that. Oh, good. Good. Then don't walk by yeah. naked. <laughs> yeah, don't do fail. that because that—that's when it'll fail. What is what well, is Sako JD, showing, or what is Valdo showing us now? Maybe you, you had um, a question about um, the language of English sports. Yeah, yeah I think that's this. One. Well, it's uh, stopped raining. <laughs> Bears back on the lawn. Oh shit! My beer just exploded. Oh no. Yes, they're on the walk. Just two I had that problem there. last night. It wasn't my beer. Just three wides. I'm playing a video right now. The first bridge on the left arm of the wheels of Briggs. Yes, we've seen not much of that, Ted. <laughs> the hell is... Yeah. Don't break anything out there. <laughs> the is this? What is that? It's pretty much English sports in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I mean, it, it really, it just captures the... <laughs> yes, well, they're up to four now. They're up to four. Okay. <laughs> As they hustle back to the horse. <laughs> With a chess board. <laughs> they earned one move. <laughs> With a pipe, he's got a pipe. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Skipper. Uh, I see. Where can we move him up to up some fall screen on the tree lawns? <laughs> <laughs> the commentary is the best. Two flags stuck in the ground. He's <laughs> <laughs> looking very confident there. Yeah, it's okay. All right. There. All right. <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> but that is that is that is it right there. That is English in the sports in a nutshell. That really, it's really is. American. Look, that's only half of it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sako, Sako, you're a man of many dialects. Did you like? Was that natural to you to hear that, or <laughs> you guys didn't get that? <laughs> I didn't right up on it. Why did you oh, not yeah. see that? You understand, oh, yeah. you understand yeah. the uh, strategy of that game, right? Oh, it's very clear. <laughs> <coughs> oh, my God. What was that game? Was that a real sport? No. <laughs> no. Luckily, no. It's like seven sports all combined <laughs> into nonsense. Wow. Mm. Uh, but I, I love think, that. It's a good but game. the ball didn't come into play yet. That must be in the second half. <laughs> right, the second half. <laughs> so, so, I mean, the skit the skit is five and a half minutes long. uh Right, we watched two minutes of that. Right, it's got to. <laughs> so that thing just kept going yeah. and going and just getting crazier and weirder as it went along. Yeah, no, it's got it's got to it's got to get crazier and weirder for sure. <laughs> oh, that is pretty crazy and weird. <laughs> I pretty. You can wear that. that in that game. <laughs> Sorry, <no. laughs> what the hell were you thinking with that haircut? By the way, <laughs> I mean Jesus. <laughs> Oh my God! It was, it was it was the fashion then. Was it? I got. I guess. Oh no! Uh, I guess that, that could have been. I, me. I like Woodstock uh, Sacco. <laughs> Woodstock Sacco. Woodstock Sacco. <laughs> I don't know if I do. <laughs> that was that guy in high school you didn't like. <laughs> right. So, Brett, did we ever figure out what's going on with you? You can open up to us, buddy. Come on. Oh yeah. Let's come on. I just miss you. Let it all out. Oh, you don't, you don't call all week. 
<laughs> I don't I call. We, I sit here and wait for you to text me. I don't hear anything from you. And you, you, you never respond to me what? until Friday. That's and not then true. It's like order, order, order. Get stuff done. <laughs> oh, order, 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 order. Be ready. Be a professional. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and, then, and then as soon as the show's over, you're gone. Uh, you just don't appreciate Brit, Jamie. I don't appreciate Brit. All right, chat, tell me, do I appreciate Brit or not? I want chat's opinion yeah. on this. You, you treat yeah, me like no. a Tinder date. I treat you like a what? <laughs> a Tinder date. <laughs> and you're swiping Tinder. the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what chat has oh to say about God. that. Maybe you should do a poll. Let's see what I chat. Think I'm the news I'll do a poll. All right. <laughs> yeah, I got your, my poll. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's I'm not allowed to talk Tinder, I think. Yeah, there is a new pet Tinder. What the heck? All right, so there was some speculation that that's just a way for people to meet other people by using pets as the intermediary. What do you think? Yeah. Whatever works. <laughs> oh, how do yeah, the pets feel about uh, Wasn't there some new regulation about these dating sites that made it a little more difficult, so now they're trying to work around it? Is that where the pet thing came from? Oh, or I don't know. I have no pet? idea. I've never been on any of them. I don't know. I have no, I have no knowledge. Sako, um, tell us about it. <laughs> At some point, it'll be uh, well. <laughs> see, I tried it. <laughs> At some point, they'll be like uh, you know Tinder for people that wear shoes, right? <laughs> oh man! Wow. Uh, that wouldn't be you as you're walking through the public bathroom instead of the poison ivy, apparently. Okay, so yeah. let me just see. No, definitely at bathrooms better at the better at the state park from Walmart. All right, so I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to see if people believe that I do what? What was the question about Brit? Do I disrespect him? What was the? What was it? I don't remember. It was so long ago. <laughs> no, I don't remember either at all. Oh boy. Appreciate. Do I appreciate, appreciate. Brit? Okay, and uh, appreciate. I don't think anybody's answered. I see a no here, but I don't know if that's to that quite. I have no idea. No, you don't treat him well? They're still talking about scrum. scrum. Yeah, I don't treat Brit well. How is that even possible? He's like a guest of honor here when I bring him on the show. And uh, how do I not treat him well? Brit, look at the camera and, and tell me honestly that I don't treat you well. I would feel a lot more appreciated if you sent me money. <laughs> well, yeah. I would feel a lot more appreciated if uh, somebody sent me money. You know who really feels? Look at look at this is what Sako does when this conversation starts. He thought we were going to ask him to pay the bill, and he took off. <laughs> it's gone. Jesus, that's what he does. We, we're out. We're having a beer. And all of a sudden, he goes off to the bathroom when the bill shows up. Ghost. Wow, oh, that's funny. That's this I turn. Sad. I turn. We're sitting in the bar. I turn, and this is what I see. <laughs> At the bar. It's really amazing how he does this. Black. Yeah. <laughs> right when the, the lack of comes. anything. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. All right, so who's going to play our game tonight? Who's who's going to play? Yeah, we've, come on. We, I need somebody. We've got, well, we've got two games to play here. One is call and play the uh, Slots and Noggins. And slots and noggins. Slots and noggins. And the other one slots is we're going to play another round of Know the Bro. So we need to figure out who our I think our subject should be Sacco and I think it should be Brit V Valdo. That's fair. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. I gotta get my pen out. All right. So we need we need something other than a blank screen for Sacco. Oh, there he is. Look at him come back. Oh, oh. wow, sideways. My back. He's back. He's back. Wow. Well, We're gonna play is it. his camera drunk too. His camera is drunk. We're gonna play a <laughs> round of I made Brit my scrum. <laughs> oh yes, Brit yeah. is having some weird yeah. fantasies or something going down. I don't you know, all right, Brit, you and I are going to have a conversation after this to talk about how you need to feel appreciated. Are you guys ready <laughs> for? Do you guys have paper? Oh wait, hang on, hang on, wait. Nope. That might. Thank take you, Lala. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sako RV is getting repoed. <laughs> well, you guys, what do you mean you guys are there for Brit? I, I'm not mistreating Brit. 
nice narrative you've created here. It's just awesome framing. Awesome framing. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'm back. Hold on. Why we have a second? Let's take a better look at what's going on here in Sacco's world. Oh, is that background? That looks like it looks like a shoe cover thing. The blue thing with the mesh, right? Where? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. But up like to the right, bag. up to the right of that, I swear that's a whole thing of women's lingerie that he's wearing. I, I, think, I think you're right. I feel like a bra. Yeah. That's for Gertrude. There's, there's, oh, there's geez. definitely, there's definitely some, and it looks like it's like turn of the century. Like, uh, oh, we're getting the tour. Oh, look at that. He's look playing at that. Gertrude all weekend. Do you have any slide out? Do you have a slide out? <laughs> I do. I'm sitting in one. You're sitting in the slide out? Beg yeah. your pardon? And then does your, <laughs> does your bedroom have a slide out also? Uh, it yeah. does. Brit, Brit's trying bed. to get in your bedroom. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> He likes, right. he likes my slide out. All right. Does everybody have paper? Does every have everyone yeah, have do. paper? And a I'm working pen. Working on it. And a pen, a sharpie, preferable, so we can really read what the answers are, or something that's a little. Oh, I love it. It's chroma key. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Check this out. See my pen? Yes. Oh, it's all chroma key. It's oh, that's, green. There you go. And it's chroma keyed out, so you can see through it. That's pretty. Toei cool. Sacco's in an RV because he's oh. camping. He saw us on Tinder. Somebody said, I have a jar of mayonnaise. Anybody want to go camping? Really? Wow. <laughs> mayonnaise, <True>? really? <laughs> I didn't even know that. Kind of true. No. Kind of true. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm going to make oh, Brit, I'm gonna make Brit right. Again? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that a whip by Santa's hat? Hold on. We got to look. What's going on? Where's Santa's hat? Where's the whip? The red thing in the back red thing with the white stuff on the bottom of it yeah straight up from right over his left ear uh -huh. Santa hat. I, can, I can see that huh i think that's that's not red i think that's pink like feathers pink feathers so over all the way to the right no no that, that red thing over his shoulder i think just because it's darker back there it's, it's probably orange or pink and, and mm. not red okay oh, he's trying to block Okay. I like the Santa hat story better. Why did you turn the block it? That's weird. Why does it look like he's got like a legal office in the back there too? It's like filing cabinets and notebooks. <laughs> Binders. What the hell? Oh, yes. but now he's in fast motion. Look at him go. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Click, click, click. It's a rag. Oh. It's a rag. How did that happen? It's a dish oh. towel. <laughs> That's even better. Oh boy. Okay. Wow. All right, we're gonna play uh, know the bro. So uh, the uh, like chat well, room's got to play along. We got to keep score here. You guys ready? Okay, so Sako yeah. is our is our subject bro tonight, and uh, Valdo and Britt are going to be trying to uh, earn the honors and bragging rights of knowing Sako better than anybody else. Well okay, we ready for this? Everybody ready for Know yep. the Bro? Yep. Yep. Our first question Which dresser drawer does Sako keep his underwear in? Oh, that's a great question. Which dresser drawer does Sako keep his underwear in? Oh, Toe, you're absolutely right. He lives in upstate New York. He actually leaves the woods to go to the woods. There's probably more people, and I actually think that's, there's no question, there's more people near him while he's camping than there is where he lives. <laughs> okay, so write, everybody write your answer down. What dresser drawer does Sako keep his underwear in? Let's see, what do we have right. here? Um. Oh, do, 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 do. let's see here. Uh, ch top right, Wait. top, top drawer, the bottom drawer, second drawer. Okay. And of course, Sako's frozen now, so that doesn't help. But oh, that's so cool. Yeah. We can make up the answer. Yeah, Sako is completely frozen. Completely frozen. Can you, can you and he's frozen in a way where his eyes are like he's sleeping. You need to play the sleepy time music. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, well, we just need to just need to like like Photoshop a Q-tip into his hand. <laughs> oh my God. No, 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 no! Like he's pulling wax out Shrek style. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, 
Yep. And my back. You're back. Okay. I did text. I texted you guys the answer too. Okay. You ready? So no, that's not for you. Don't text them now. They can look. Oh, oh I know what it what is. The, yeah. What the no. hell? What are you thinking? And I was right. <laughs> I thought you were waiting for me right. to answer. All right. So the question is, which dresser drawer does Sako keep his underwear in? Valdo, which dresser drawer would that be? That would be. <laughs> Oh, no, wait. Sorry. That was last time. Hey, oh, there we go. Yeah. Top drawer. Britt, what yeah. dresser drawer does uh, Sako keep his underwear in? Sako doesn't Oh, have he's back to the postage he... stamp. Put the... Jesus. He doesn't, he doesn't, he I doesn't can't... wear underwear. He has no underwear drawer. <laughs> nice. Sako, of all those options, which dresser drawer do you keep your underwear in? Top left. Did you write uh, that down? Top. That's me. Let me see. Can make sure you're not what lying. What the hell are you writing on? Would you go out in the, in the garbage and find a piece of paper? <laughs> God, I swear. I did. We have like no budget. Oh Our my God, this is, is pathetic. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'll surprised it's not. Paper. I'm surprised it's not a McDonald's napkin with mustard on it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I got that. <laughs> or yeah. or somewhere else. Yeah. All right, second question. So, so okay. So I, well, I, I I missed the answers. Did anybody get it right? I did. You did. Okay, Valdo's got one. I took a point and a commanding one zero lead. Okay, this is a yes or no. So you get a fifty fifty shot Ooh. at this. Does. Or would Vald uh, does or would Sako drink milk from the container right out of the refrigerator? Oh wow! Does or would Sako drink milk right out of the container? Get your answers in. Oh, Chad is not kind to you, Sako. Oh, oh. Chad is not kind. It, it, Everyone. No well, does. Randall said no, but everybody else says yes. If no one's there to see you do it, did you do it? <laughs> yeah, that's a great question. Yeah, that's a big question. Is anybody looking? Does or would Sako drink milk out of the container? Sako, everybody have their answers in? I do. Okay. Britt, does does or would Sako drink milk out of the container? Yes. You say yes. Okay. Valdo, does or would Sako drink milk right out of the container? Oh, I, I I so debated this, and going against what I know about Sako, I said you say yes. yes. Okay, Sako, would you drink? And the answer is yeah. yes, he would. <laughs> I am never eating or drinking at Sako's house again. <laughs> There's nobody else at my house. <laughs> oh man, does that mean you drink like out of like the soda container and the uh, like the? There's the, nobody yeah. else there. If, yeah, why not? I don't understand. Yeah. If I come to your house and you offer me a drink, is it going to be some container that you drank out of earlier? When when would I ever offer you milk? At my house? <laughs> yeah, I'm Perfect. asking about when, other things. <laughs> I'm asking you about other things, not <laughs> just milk. I'll, I'll be honest. There is no milk in my house. <laughs> <laughs> it just isn't. <laughs> All right. Okay, next question. What do we have? Do we have every, – you both got that, right? Yes, it's yeah. two, to two, one, to one. two to one. Two to one. Gotcha. All right. All right. Here we go. How many trips to the bathroom does Sako make on an average day? Day. How many trips to the bathroom does Sako make on an average day? Chat, register your answers. Jada, the answer is I do not drink from the container i don't i wouldn't do that i don't do that and never have done that ever why not <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like double dipping in the worst possible way if you're so there's worried, nobody else drinking it and do it on the side or okay I mean, if 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 like this container of no milk was if this container of milk no. was my like like I had my name. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I would. I've done that with okay. like that would Power be the Aids. Only milk in my house. Power yeah, Aids. I'll drink right. and I'll put them back in because they're mine. No one else is touching them anyway. <sighs> Toey, <laughs> Toey, Toey. Okay, everybody have their answers. How many? Yes. How many trips to the bathroom does Sako make on an average day? Looking in chat. 
Uh, we have uh, Renchi says 22. <laughs> Southern Rose says wow. 11. Jada says 52. Yeah, he, he he can't hold it. I go out, we go out and have a beer. Like, he'll go to the bathroom seven times before I even have to think about Does it. Does that count? Oh, I'm going to my going out to the bar now. That's an average day. Whatever you think an average day is. What's the countdown going on in your screen, Baldo? Countdown? What countdown? <laughs> okay. Oh uh, Valdo. Where did that come from? Valdo, yes. how many times on an average day does Sacco go to the bathroom? I'm thinking, so, uh, d again, d difficult to kind of nail it down, but over the course of a week per day, I'm going to say five. Five per day. Okay. All right. Uh, Britt, how many times on an average day? I can't. Eight? Is that what it said? <laughs> Six to pee and two to jack off. <laughs> You think he actually goes to the bathroom to do that? He'll drink right out of the freaking container. He's going to just sit in the couch in the living room, <laughs> even with company. <laughs> so, my slide Sako, how many times do you go to the bathroom on an average day? Oh, bathroom. Sorry. Wait. Can what the hell that? is... I got to get... I got to get... Oh, where the hell is it on the page? Nine? Does that say nine? Nine. <laughs> Uh, Britt, you said eight. Yeah. Valdo, what'd you say? Nine five? Minutes. I said five. Yeah. Whoa. Well, Point Brit. Twice before I even leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> Point Brit. So is that tied up? Okay. Uh, yes, it is. Sure. We're tied three at three? Two. Uh, two. Third question. Three. Yes, third Four. question. I got two right. Britt got two right. I'm a guy it's in his fifties. You never pass a bathroom okay. up. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. How many people? Uh, so the twenty-two and the fifty-two were a little, little aggressive. Robert White said one hundred five. Holy crap! Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, There's an app that counts. Last question in what? Well, last question. Blah, 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 blah. Last question <laughs> in round one. According yeah, round one. According, yeah. <laughs> according two of the points are doubled. Where were you last week? <laughs> exactly. He was the he was the bro being so he didn't get points. He didn't have to worry about that. Oh, he didn't have to think. According to Sako, what that is the sense. perfect bra size? <laughs> according to Sako? According to Sako. Oh, what is the perfect bra size? <laughs> We need, we need, uh, 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 I didn't even say, uh, 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 <laughs> cup size and what's the other, what's the other dimension? <laughs> inches. Inches. Inches and cup size. Circumference. <laughs> According to Sako, what is the perfect bra size? Now, Chad has already weighed into this really quickly. Oh, Can I give a range? Nope. You got to give us a specific. Uh, <laughs> Corey, Corey says uh, C. Randall says 38 C. Shelly says double yeah. D. There Lala wants to know if we're talking about his bra size. Um, yeah, that could be. D says 36 C. Jada says triple okay. D. Steph says 34 C. Scooter oh says 40 double D. Wrenchy <laughs> says 36 triple D. Holy crap. <laughs> Well, he's got to be able to wear them. <laughs> All right. Does everybody have an answer wait, ready? Wait. Somebody just said 16C. 16C? What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So, according to Saka, what is the perfect bra size? Valdo? According to Saka, what is the perfect bra? Or are you, is it was Britt? This, okay. 36D. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Britt, according to Saka, what's the perfect bra size? Men's 36 double C. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> now, Britt is the person Brit is the person who didn't take a woman's bra off until his 30s, just so we're all <laughs> on the same page here. Um, is, is double C a size? <laughs> I've never I heard of that. Saka, what's the perfect? Know. What's your, what's your. Uh, I, I, I do put, I, I, I struggled on this. Yeah, because, I'm um, sure you well, have. They're all great. Right? They're all so, great. 36 C. That's what I put down. Wow. I was debating, though. Wow. Know. So nobody got that, kind of. It was, uh, well, I got 36 double C. <laughs> <laughs> but you got you to double somebody, A. Double you mentioned somebody in chat got it. Yeah, oh, yeah, some people in chat definitely got it. Yep. 
Oh yeah. yeah. And uh, I was debating between C and D. <laughs> I, this is, I'm gonna. This is. A, I, I can't goodness. wait to make a promo out of this. Uh, I, I really worked on this one, but they're all great. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing their job. Oh, promo fodder is flying and <laughs> doing hard. Yeah, All right. Here's, here's Holy cow. Um, by the way, Susie also got it in uh, in um, the YouTube chat. And uh, uh, Button, who's also who's Terry, said a training bra. <laughs> oh, well. 46D, 54 triple D. What the heck? Those are crazy yeah, sizes. Know. Yeah, I don't know. So 36C was your answer, Sako. You're gonna you go. that, that just gives me a backache. It gives, which one gives you a backache? Anything over? That 40, yeah, 46 double D. I mean, that's a, oh. That's surgery time. Did you just say that as well? It's like, I mean, it's like surgery. That's too big. <laughs> I mean, you don't want two beach balls hanging off the front of you. <laughs> Think about how heavy that is. Eggs. Oh, okay. All right. You guys ready for round two? Oh, the points are double. Another round. What? Ooh, how dare you? Round two, the points are double. Okay. All right. Oh. We ready? The game, is, the game is Know the Bro. The bro tonight is Sako. Our contestants are two. Valdo and Britt. Yes, Britt? Do, uh, do, in round two, do the questions get more personal? The questions yeah, yeah. become worth double the points. What's the score? Where are we with score? Two to two. Two to two. All right. Question number one in round two. Two on lead. Question number one in round two. Here we go. Round two. According to Sako, what is the perfect dinner entree? According to Sako, what is the perfect dinner entree? <laughs> Points are double D. Dish and the side. <laughs> Points are double D. Yeah, they are. Is that the main dish and the side dish? No. Well, I mean, we, let's do side dish for bonus points. Do yeah. the entree is the main dish. Add the side dish for bonus points. According to Sako, what is the perfect dinner entree? And for bonus, what's the perfect side dish to go with that? Steak and potatoes. Nice, Marianne. Steak and lobster. Very nice. The side dish in that case. Boneless chicken wings and barbecued pork. Pulled pork. Oh. Porter wow. Porterhouse okay. steak. Fish taco. Yeah. Fish tacos. Yeah. <laughs> T-bone and baked. Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hey, now. <laughs> Open that door. Wow. Uh, uh, okay. All right. So, are we ready for this? Uh, we all, everybody got an answer? Here we go. Britt. Oh, yeah. Britt, what is Sako's idea of a perfect dinner entree? Anything served to him? <laughs> he is not picky. Wow. I will I will vouch for that. I, I should have. Uh, that's creative. That, that, that's pretty accurate. Yeah. Valdo, what did, I don't have. He doesn't have to cook it. He doesn't have to cook it. Yeah. Somebody will bring it to it to eat it. Yeah, that's a great point. Valdo, what's your what's your th thought here? What's Sako's perfect entree? I, I agree with those rational people in the chat. I, I went with steak, steak, steak and as a side potato. Okay. Yeah. Sako, yeah. what's your idea of a perfect entree? Did, uh, Veal uh, parm and veal spaghetti? spaghetti. Um, Is spaghetti the side dish or part of the entree? Side dish. Yeah. I mean, it, it always comes in veal parm, so yeah. It's All right. Small amount. Yeah. Okay. Nobody got that. Nobody. Nobody in chat got that. Nobody. I get a point. You get a point. Absolutely. I had a long veal parmesan phase okay here here is struggle with that because as you know i like all food <laughs> it was really okay really good stuff this is going to be a good I one this this is a potato. true this is a yes or no answer so you got a 50 50 shot it, to know the bro here okay did Sako ever own a pair of jordash jeans oh what a great question did Sako ever own a pair of jordash jeans 
Now, why would you ask that question if you didn't know the answer? Did Sako ever Did own a pair of Jordash jeans? And Chad is rolling in with yes, hell yes, of course, all caps. <laughs> what? He's did, wearing them now. <laughs> did Sako? <laughs> He's wearing them now. <laughs> did Sako ever own a pair of Jordache jeans? That's our question right now, worth two points. 50 50 shot. 50 oh, and parachute man. pants. Wow, you got this guy figured oh, out. Well, now that's, that's a different I thing, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, Valdo, please. Valdo, did yep. Sako ever own a pair of Jordache jeans? I I wanted I wanted to just I wanted to write no. That was the the thing that I wanted to write up here, but after consideration, I decided I should write fuck no. <laughs> okay, so we got a resounding fuck no. <laughs> and and Brit says yes. Sako, you didn't say fuck yes, Brit. Oh, yeah. I'm trying Sacco, to get back my cousin. Did you ever own a pair? Is the is that answer yes or is it Sergio Valente two and parachute pants? Oh, Sergio God. Valente. Um, <laughs> oh my God! Um, you have got to wear those next time we do this show. Yeah, I want to wear those. They wouldn't even fit on my foot right now. <laughs> Your foot. <laughs> He had Jordash, he had Sergio Valente, and he had parachute pants. Parachute pants. Oh, my God. Did you have a members-only jacket? Oh, did I you? did. <laughs> oh, okay. And when I really went out, I wore my white leather jacket. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. What, what, what kind of sneakers? Did you have, like, British Knights? or? <laughs> I didn't have those. Didn't have those. <laughs> I did have the oh. Reeboks though. Yeah. Uh, you know those Reebok, yeah. those Reebok aerobic sneakers. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got a four to two score, right? Britt Brit, uh, took the lead on that question. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the next. Here's our next question in round two. When riding in a car with a questionable driver, which seat does Sako take? <laughs> When riding in a car with a questionable driver, which seat does Sako take? Questionable yes. how? Don Johnson envied Sako in the 80s. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's where he got he didn't his... didn't have Capizios. <laughs> Pastel. You remember those? Capizios? Yeah. Jazz shoot. I oh didn't have those. God. I, I, didn't I thought they were. I thought they were, you know, a little. Uh, not not my um, uh, gender uh -huh. preference. <laughs> I uh, missed uh -huh. this earlier, but in the question, did did Sako uh, have Jordash jeans? Robert said yes, but he only wore them in the scrum. <laughs> <laughs> I did wear them skiing once. Oh, my God. How do you even remember that? How would you know that? Because my father made fun of me. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Super memorable. Thanks, that. Dad. No, oh, Jesus. Okay, question is. He thought it was hilarious. Question is, when riding in a car with a questionable driver, which seat does Sako take? Uh, let's see. I think Valdo goes first. This, no, uh, okay. Britt goes first this time. Britt, which seat does he take? The driver's seat? Oh, That's kind of, yeah. kind of, kind of can't happen if the driver. Well, he is the questionable driver. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, pretty much. No, he just it takes over from the driver. All right, Valdo, what yeah. seat? What seat do you think he takes? I, I'm thinking shotgun. Shotgun. He's, he's gonna. He, he's not. Okay. I think he's gonna, no, he's gonna be right beside. If anything happens, he can like take control. He can grab the wheel. Okay, Sako, yeah. you're I'm you're gonna, gonna get. You're I'm about. Out. What, Brett? He just kicks the driver out and takes over. That's what I was going with. Sako, you're getting in a car with a very questionable driver. What seat will you take? The driver's seat? Are you guys texting each other? Wow. <laughs> what? Wow. Are you guys texting each other? I'm, no. I'm nope. 
<laughs> wow. Wow. He knows him better. He just knows him better. That's the point. Holy that's crap. The point. Okay. There's two yeah, for Brit. On that same they they both. Is. That's what I'm it is. I'm just answering the question how I would do it. <laughs> okay. So I got to come up with better questions as, the, as a result of that. Okay. Um, next question. Sako can only afford one sex toy. What sex toy was that going to be? <laughs> He's got to choose only like one. That. He's got to. He likes the scrum. <laughs> he can only afford one. Yeah. The Adam and Eve sale is over. He's only got enough for one. <laughs> what sex toy is it going to be? This is, I'm looking this at is where you guys will answer what you want and what you want to see me answer, but it won't be, the, it, won't be it. Oh, boy. I want to pick one from last week's answers. Can I pick Sun Chips or Battleship Gray? <laughs> so, uh, no? okay. boy, I t I'll okay. tell you what. Uh, chat is chat is <laughs> these answers are flying in. There's no like hesitation here in chat for the answers a noggin massager i love it oh, man. i love it noggin massager i pick, i picked the wrong night not to be able to be in chat <laughs> <laughs> uh there's there's kind of a theme going through here though okay does everybody have their answers written down yeah yes <laughs> yep. valdo so yes. poor, Sako's too poor to buy more than one. He can only buy one sex toy. What's it going to be? Uh, I I said it'll be a flashlight. A flashlight. Okay. Uh, Britt, he can only afford one. What's it going to be? I can't see that. Butt plug with what? Tail and vibrator. Butt plug with tail and vibrator? The fact that you, could, you even know that exists, Britt? <laughs> betrays so much about you. It was very, very specific. Yes, it was. Oh, okay. I'm surprised you didn't put the the purple, you know, the model X seven one model X seven one nine nine dash B. Oh. I'm just picturing. I'm just. I'm just picturing the four of us going into a, uh, you know, a, an adult store and being like, what the hell is that? And Brent's like, oh, well, that's, you know. <laughs> yep. Yep. Sako, what, you, Sako, you've hit hard times. You can only afford one sex toy. What's it going to be? A, a vibrating cock ring? <laughs> and the fact you even know that exists concerns me. It's, it's oh, oh, Dickie, you're such a prude. I'm What's not a prude. I just, okay, so just so you know, <laughs> looking through the uh, the That's chat, zero, zero. we've got butt plug, we've got fleshlight, yeah. we've got fleshlight, yeah. we've got scrum yeah. plug, we've got the ring, oh, go. blow up doll, yeah. blow up doll, ball gag, <laughs> vibrator, blow up sheep, <laughs> uh. um, silicone, a bouncy silicone butt. Benoit balls, <laughs> fleshlight, uh, dual-headed dong. Holy crap! We've never asked a question that's gotten this much response before. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's Friday. All right. What's, Everybody feels the same. Did anybody get that or not? I don't know. No, nobody got that. No. Right? Okay. <laughs> so the score is still what? Because Brit, Brit's four, four to two. Brit, four to two, or is it six no to two? Didn't he get two right? No. it's it's just yes, oh, it is, I got the, it is I got the driver right. Oh, yeah. Right. Yep. Sick. Oh wow. Okay. All right. So we're gonna make the final question worth four points. No. All right. <sighs> Here we go. Let's make it worth five just to make it interesting. You ready? Final question. In that tub behind Sako's head, there is a collection of women's underwear. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> He wants to wear one of them. Which of the women's underwear does he want to wear most? Uh, of all is those this a multiple choice? Or? No, it's just I'm not going to give I'm not going to give any options. In that bin behind you is a collection of women's lingerie. You want to wear one of them. Which one do you want to wear the most? It's eating at you. You want to put that on in the worst way. <laughs> it's eating at you. 
<laughs> Which one? This is worth five <laughs> points. Oh, Jesus. Five points. The granny panties. <laughs> the one, the ones with the pudding. <laughs> Everybody's saying granny panties. Everyone is. <laughs> wow. You know why, don't you? No, I don't. Because of, because of Gertrude? For comfort. Mm. <laughs> Every girlfriend I've ever had has said the thongs are very uncomfortable. Well, they have to, to be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, logic yeah. tells you that. Logic tells you that. All right, Britt. Sako can is dying to put one of those pieces of what is it? I can't say granny panties. <laughs> he actually said that. Nice. What okay. Comfort. Britt. Uh okay, you went all right, Valdo. What does Sako uh, what is he dying to put on out of that woman that box of women's lingerie? I think I think if you if you think about a box of women's lingerie long enough, you come around to the one thing that everybody I think would would want to put on, and that would be a garter belt. Garter belt, nice choice. That's classy. Yeah, yeah, very classy. Sako, I think so. I think you true. probably are wearing it already. Um, you probably could show us. <laughs> but let's let let's say hypothetically that you were just thinking about it. Uh, what what piece of lingerie would you put on? The uh, hell is that say? Fish fish net stockings. stockings? Uh, oh my god! I can't be friends with you anymore. <laughs> that is scary. What my choices? That is all women's underwear. Scary. <laughs> that is because that takes it to a whole different level, Sako. That takes it to a whole different level. Wow! Did anybody say fishnet stockings in chat? It's just—it's just because he I wants to it. sing all the Rocky Horror songs. I think. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I mean, exactly. Chat's exactly. exactly. saying exactly. thong, granny panties, black thong, his mom's uh, commando. Yeah. Uh, I think I read the other ones. Holy crap! <laughs> Wow. Okay. Well, we have a winner, Britt. Congratulations. Nice yeah. job. Yeah, what did I win? You win. What did I win? You win the opportunity to pick the bro for next week. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that sounds exciting. <laughs> yeah, you sound thrilled. You sound thrilled. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, god. oh boy. Oh, okay, so um All right. nice. All right, so we we've got we've got one more thing we need to cover here. Um and then I'm completely out of material. Okay. Okay, you keep saying that liar. Yeah, well, thank God I do some work. Um Man, oh shit. So uh there uh there's a list of Mother's Day cards that might be a little bit inappropriate. And some of these are, I would say, uh, funny, some are gross, and some are... Uh, some, some should require that the uh, author of the card actually go to psychological... or uh, psych... Uh, 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 what is it? Psycho is the word I'm looking for. Psychiatric evaluation. Thank you. Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. So yeah. let so let's take a look at these. We're gonna st we're gonna start with what would be what would be considered the least weird and go to don't, work our way down. Don't to we the, have a third shot to do? Oh, we do. You're absolutely right. Yes. Let's do. I the, mean, let's do the third shot. I haven't marked any of those. I haven't. I haven't actually been watching the redemption, sadly, because I've been working on this stuff. But I'll, after this, I'll get into that, and we'll see what we have to do here. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Oh man, Michelle? hey Michelle. Yeah. All right, let's do this third shot. Oh, my nose is all watery here. What is oh, that? Like a diet coke, Brit? You know, the shots of diet coke are not fulfilling the spirit of this. Need to get it was coke and rum, but wow! I had to hide it. I had to hide it from my kids. Why do you hide it from my kids? My kids know I'm a drunk. Well, my kids, kids are thirteen and seventeen. Your kids what? Yeah, well, my kids are thirteen and seventeen, and they're in the trailer making meth right now. So I don't want them getting drunk and screwing up the mixture. Gotcha. Okay, here we go. So, uh, meth. card number one. 
This is actually kind of funny. So, um, uh, shit, I put the word. Hold on. This is complicated stuff here. All right. So the card reads, if I won the lottery, this is a Mother's Day card. If I won the lottery, I would pick out the best nursing home ever for you, no matter how far away it is from me. <laughs> oh, that's just nice. <laughs> Sweet. If I won the lottery, I would pick out the best oh, nursing home ever for you, no matter how far so away kind. it is from me. <laughs> so kind. So oh, my God. That's a good one, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My favorite, the favorite card I ever, I ever gave either of my parents was one for my father. And I can't remember how old he was. He's probably, he probably turned 50 or something, right? And um, the card was... Uh, um, Oh, crap it's 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 uh it's uh the like the, the new pop group for your demographic the retirement village people <laughs> <laughs> and actually going through my parents stuff he kept that card and i still have it because it, it cracked me up oh. so much yeah oh my god yeah. all right so the, ne the <laughs> next what's that <laughs> So apparently it cracked him up too. He kept it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. All right. So the next card for mom is, "Hey, thanks, mom. If I didn't have you, I'd probably be a crackhead hooker." <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> it's a positive statement. Oh, yeah, and oh, yeah. Sako, keep a tally of how many of these cards you gave your mom over the years, too. Okay. <laughs> so far, it's two. So far, we're two for two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the next one is, "Mom, sorry, I'm the reason you piss every time you I, you sneeze." <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I almost yeah. do that. You almost do that, <laughs> Britt. Is, Brit, yeah, is, is that yeah. is that why you're so out of sorts? No, hold on, Britt. Let's give Britt a second here. Is is that what the problem's been tonight? Yeah, I pissed myself. I'm sitting in a wet stool right now, and I got you know I want to go, but you won't let me because you'll yell at me. Yeah, right. I'll yell. Yeah, you know what's also funny is it was when when Sako uh, when we had Gertrude on last week, and Gertrude was all pissed off because of the mess. Remember when Sako had to wrestle with the mic stand and he spilled his drink and all that. Remember that? So Gertrude yeah. comes on and says, I stepped in a pile of whiskey. What the fuck is a pile of whiskey? How does that work, Sako? That's a, uh, you know, when there's so much. A pile? <laughs> well, there were ice cubes. Uh, so. <laughs> pile. Pi uh, so an ice cubes will make it a pile. That's okay. Yeah. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Can, can, can whiskey freeze? Yeah. No. Whiskey will, uh, every, every liquid will free to, uh, freeze at some point. Right, yeah, but, but not with what you know, whiskey won't do. freeze in your freezer. No, 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 no. Alcohol doesn't freeze there. Okay, so number ten in our list of bad Mother's Day cards is, Mom, I will always be your little girl's crossed out financial burden. Oh well, there you go. Right. Eventually. I mean, I think every yeah. every dad accurate every dad uh, <laughs> kind of understands how that goes. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Number nine is a little bit uh, controversial. <laughs> Thanks for not aborting me. Oh Happy my, Mother's oh Day with a God. coat hanger. Oh, wow. wow. That's rough. That is rough. That's uh, really rough. Wow. Oh, my yeah. God. All right. This is more that I think Britt probably gives this one every year. Mom, thanks for putting up with my shit. Also, sorry I swear so much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much true. Yeah. I, mean, I figured that was much true. that was a Brit one. All right, this one might be this one might be a little more difficult to read, just because. But I'll read it for you. Hey mom. Oh my god. Hey mom, thanks for pushing me out of your body all those years ago. I'm sure that did a real number on your lady parts. Anyway, I really appreciate the gesture. <laughs> it's just kind. I mean, that's <laughs> heartfelt. I mean, it's it, really sweet. Who hasn't thought that at some point? Yeah. Right. Yeah. My mom no reminds interest. me every. My mom reminds me every birthday of mine that uh, I gave her scars. <laughs> she got so because my head was so big. Nice. This this one's actually kind of funny. Number six on our list here is, "Hey, mom, just wanted to say thanks for the free woman board." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put it on yeah. Wow. That one was cute. This one I actually think uh I actually have given my mom. Of all the moms in the world, you're one of them. 
<laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. What are we up to? Number four? Number four, Sako, this is going to ring for you. I, I guarantee it. Thanks for not swallowing me. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Saki, you want to talk about that one a little bit? Sammy, Sammy, come back. <laughs> oh, he conveniently freezes up right there. Look at that. <laughs> look, at him, look at him. He come, Yeah, he's like pushing the button. Freeze, plug it right now, right now. <laughs> right now, cut it off, cut it off. Oh, man. How many horror movie fans do we have? No, there's got to be a lot out here. I know, Michelle, you can relate to this stuff, right? They're, yeah, they're very funny. How many more horror movie fans do we have? Because this this is a this is a Mother's Day card that only horror movie fans are going to going to understand. Oh, <laughs> this Mother's Day, I just want to say thanks, thanks. Norman, Norman. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so all right, so this this one um, is a little graphic. So if you're squeamish, or you're under the age of eighteen, turn off the stream right now. Oh, that could be a problem. Sorry for ruining your <laughs> vagina. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> oh my god, that is foul. <laughs> Oh no. The thing yeah, that I makes this asshole. the thing that makes yeah, the thing that makes this most fouls the asshole that's right below the uh, what the, why do you have to do that? Yeah, I don't need to see the starfish. <laughs> Jeez. Holy yeah. crap. Okay, and our number one oh, number one distasteful Mother's Day card. And Britt, I almost think you wrote this one, frankly. Um <laughs> is Mom, is it weird for you to think about how your boobs used to be my primary source of food? Well, it's super fucking weird for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That one hit that one. That one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. So those are the those are the how many was that? How many do we have? 13 or so. Uh, weirdest Mother's Day cards. Holy yeah. crap. Good stuff. Wow, look how shocked Sako is. He's like stunned. No, I mean, oh, he, look at him. He's speechless. <laughs> oh, man. Well, look. Well, he's, got, he, he's trying oh. to spit the guy out of his mouth. Uh. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. I think he's given up. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Well, that's all I got for you boys and girls tonight. So... That was, that was a lot. I mean, that was all two and a half hours worth of stuff you, you had <laughs> yeah, right there. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, how'd you pull that off? <laughs> oh, here, I've got words. You want oh, to, uh... whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Before you do that, dude, what do we have in our um, yeah, yeah, redemption, redemption stuff? There's probably a shit ton of st oh, stuff here. Oh, my God. There's so much stuff here. <laughs> oh, I am right. so sorry. We completely. Uh, did we do all three shots or not? Yeah. Yeah, we did. We did. Okay, there's one, there's two, there's three. Okay. Um. So, oh, my God. We got Sako Blowfish. Sako Shakes a Stick. We've got Crapco commercial. Oh, man. Brit Interpretive Dance. Random Record Roulette. Wigs. Stick Like an Old Lady. First of all, Iowa Joe like redeemed. Iowa, Iowa Joe redeemed half of these. And I have not seen him in the chat room at all. Does he know we're moving to another channel and he's just trying to get rid of his? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Oh, that's a good point. That's a damn good point. That could, that could well be. Yeah. Burn I, don't through it. I don't know. But oh, let's do... By the way, yeah. what is the theme? The theme's for tonight. Yeah, I, that's one thing I didn't do. Is there... Oh, okay. Thank God. I thought I saw something. What did I see? You the said season, season finale. finale. I saw. Yeah, that's because we're moving to another back. channel. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, well, that makes sense. All right, so we do have a hard word from Brit here uh, from Iowa Joe. So let's do that. Let's do okay. a hard word for Brit. Um, and while you're getting that ready, let's just look at this. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Oh, oh my God. Talking. Wait, this he is... He almost looks like a is... cone head there. <laughs> <laughs> this is less happy than the previous one. I thought there was like a more excited Sako. Oh, you want an excited Sako? Isn't there an excited Sako? 
Uh, we've had an excited Sako before. I mean, this is this is the Sako I know best. The this oh yes rugby Sako yeah yeah rugby Sako. Actually, this is the one I know best. <laughs> really? Frankly, Come over Sako. Como yeah. Rosako is yeah. That's how I met him. I met him as Como Rosako. Yeah. <laughs> is this like a is like a, the lollipop guild haircut <laughs> with the curl? Yeah. 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 His his Woodstock <laughs> Woodstock Sako. The, See the glasses. The guy over time just. just yeah, the guy me. over his right shoulder in the back on the back left of the yeah. of the shot is pissed. Yeah. Yeah. And because so because Woodstock Sacco kind of took his haircut. Well, on the side of my head is blocking his view. Yeah, right. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the size of his head is definitely blocking his view. He was definitely not having a good time. By the way, next week we're going to introduce a new feature where people can spend their noggin points to write a message on Sacco's forehead. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. We're doing that. Oh, my God. Scrolling messages on Sanka's forehead. Yes. Are we ready for hard words for Brit or not? I've been yeah, yeah. I've been I'm doing good. this waiting for you to get this word up and ready to go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You want it up? Sorry. <laughs> Here. Oh, no. Did I lose it? What the hell? See, this is what I was waiting for. This is what I was trying to get you to do while, while I was showing pictures of Sako. Oh, did we know see? You know what? Yearbook Sako is pretty cool too. When he, his eighth grade picture, his eighth grade picture from this last year. Yeah, okay, look how happy he was back then. So happy. You know, before confused. So happy. <laughs> I wonder if the, what the other eighth graders thought about his facial hair. Okay. I think he was yeah, dating. I think he was dating the girl that's that's down a row to the left there. I think that was. Look at all that hair. <laughs> That's why he liked her. <laughs> a lot of that hair. That's right. All right, are we ready? All right, Britt, are you ready for your hard word? Sure. Here you go. Here's your hard word. Istanbul. <laughs> <laughs> all I can see is the middle from the I no. to the S. That's that's all there is. <laughs> oh, is that it? Yes. Yeah. It's the mus. It's the mus. It's the mus. Is, is actually very good. Well, it's close. There's an extra syllable in there. <laughs> it's the mus. <laughs> oh, Isthmus is what I'm going to go with. What are you going to go with? That's all. Isthmus. 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 It's a tongue twister more than it is a hard word. At this time of night, it is. Isthmus. Isthmus. There you go. Yeah, isthmus. It's a geog it's a geographic formation. Yes, that's correct. Oh, well, uh, so how do you properly pronounce it? Isthmus. 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 <laughs> My tongue isn't working. I is like one time. Isthmus. isthmus. Yeah. And what is it? A geographical what? It's it's a it's a it's a it's a it's well, not, not a peninsula. Yeah. It's a surrounded on by water oh it connects it connects two things connects two things over it's, water isthmus of panama yes there you go isthmus water on okay, two sides. isthmus nice thank you iowa joe for making brit pronounce that i think you know daisy wanted to see sako blow up like a blowfish but i think valdo needs to do that for sako because Vol oh because God. sako is gone i'm i'm oh my geez so, i have got to get back to back to me now yeah so valdo go ahead and blow up like a blowfish make it make it make it subtle you're hanging out in the bottom of the ocean and then uh, an eel comes along and and scares you got it <laughs> <laughs> that was good that was actually good we I, might be replacing Sako in that role I am, I am so sorry to Sako yeah well if I overdid you know what it. he's, he's either gotta he's gotta step up if he wants to keep those those prime positions He's got to I'm step it up. Sorry. He's got to step it up. And I while you're at it, stab you, Sako. While you're at it, Southern Rose wants Valdo to uh, give us a show tune with some jazz hands. Oh, show tunes with some jazz hands. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, 
Uh, if you, yeah. I put myself on the spot because I, I, I promised myself I'd have another one. <laughs> another one. Because there's only two that I've ever used. Yeah. Uh, okay. Go grease lightning, you're burning through the quarter mile. Grease lightning, go grease lightning. Yeah. yeah. You know what's hilarious about that? I was just going to say to you, Grease is a musical. <laughs> I was going to help you out and say to you, Grease is a musical. It's the next one down the list. That obviously. is hilarious. That's so funny. That's so funny. Britt, Britt, can you, can you, would you have done, would you, would you have selected Grease as your second option? Oh, it's a good musical. It's a good musical. It is a good musical. You know, you know, and, and uh, John Travolta was supposed to be some studly dude, and then we find out the reality that, you know. <laughs> Not. I, love, I love how this went sideways. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, that that little bit, you sounded better than you have in three weeks. Yeah, it's very true. Wow, really? It's so this is the sweet spot right here. Yep, right there. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. Listen, yeah, um, I, don't know. I, I would I wouldn't sing anything, so I would have probably went with Five Finger Death, you know, or Pantera or something like that. Okay. Um. We have about 80 uh, redemptions we haven't done, and we're not going get to get to them. So what I've been doing with redemptions that we can't get to is uh, I've been redeeming or rejecting them, which gives everybody their points back, or I've been holding them over uh, to use them in the subsequent week. But um, we lost Sako, so we can't do any of the Sako ones. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we can watch, we can look at Sako if you want to take a few minutes and do this. Yeah, bring it, man. <laughs> bring it back up. Oh, I mean, I Sokka wish I could draw there. right now. I wish there was a way to draw on the screen, but there there isn't. So, uh -huh. so uh, talk dirty to us at the sweet spot, Brit. Okay, Brit. What the hell wow. does that mean? Wow, I was apparently that you know. So, Jada, get your speaker and put it on face up and turn the bass way up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't you remember from private parts? How yeah, much I do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> he gave a girl an orgasm live on the radio. <laughs> we need to fire him. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Man. Okay. Anyway. All right. Yeah. So what, what, what were we doing? I mean, why are you on me? I, mean, I don't know. Because you, because she, she, Jada said, talk dirty to us at the sweet spot, Brit. That's why I wanted you. That's why I put you up there. Where is the sweet spot? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's got to be down there. I don't know. All right. So listen, just so everybody's clear on, on channels and all this stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Next week, we are going to not be on the jv johnson youtube channel we will be on uh the jv channel pardon me no go ahead no. we will be on uh, the jv johnson twitch and the booze brews and bros twitch and we will be on the booze brews and bros youtube channel i will post that during the week so that everybody who is a follower of my stuff on the regular channel will have an ac access to it and can find it because when these channel channels are new they're hard to find they don't come up in search very well so that's yeah. what we'll be doing that's the plan and then the highlights, sure. highlights of the week will show up occasionally on youtube yeah uh anything to add to that Sako? Okay, thank you. <laughs> wait, wait. Anything to add to that, Saka? I'm Britt. Anything to add to that, Saka? Party time. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks. Thanks for thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. We love you all, and we'll see you next time. Have a great night. <laughs>